Yeah, I'm on time. All right, I'm on time. I don't need all this discourse while I'm sitting here waiting to go live, mind you, about, oh, he's late again. One sec. Oh, or I think it's back. I think it's back. Well, I have a very finicky cable here. One second. Alright, I think everything should be fixed now. My fucking camera! Chat chatters, chatties, welcome back to the stream, everybody. It's yours truly, Moist Ludwig, ready for a new stream and a fantastic adventure. Chat, be real. Who was surprised by the Moist announcement? Roll call, please. Who was shocked? Who was bewildered that I had done something so bold, so brash, but kept it so secret? Laser beam! Is Moist Esports worth more than FaZe now? Well, yeah, but to be fair, you're probably worth more than FaZe as the Esports team of, like, you know, Laser Fortnite, you know? like If you haven't made an Esports team, you're worth more than FaZe right now. Let's check in how FaZe stock is doing today. Folks, it's down to 75 cents. <laughs> You know what's crazy is how successful of a stock GameStop is compared to FaZe. Like, GameStop should not be as successful as it is, but it's it's so successful. It's gone up 16% this year. Wow, a billion dollar company four months ago. That's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes your billion dollar company goes down to 50 million. Sometimes your $120 million crypto scam goes down to a $40 million crypto scam. That's just the way it is for the real hustlers and grustlers in the goddamn gaming sphere. But the thing is, I know my boys will bounce back. There's only one thing I don't like about FaZe stock not performing well. I mean, outside of the, the thousands of investors who got screwed out on it. I mean, like, come on, you, you bought into FaZe stock. What were you expecting? But it's it's that there's this one phase guy who's who's wildly homophobic. And uh and he left phase because phase once time tweeted out a gay symbol and he almost cried. And uh and he was like, I'm praying to Allah that the phase stock will drop. And it's like and it's like, oh <laughs> Well, I don't know, I know, I know I want it to go up. Go back up now. No, Coots is in the room. Coots! Anyway, how's it going, boys? Welcome back to the stream. Yo, yo, yo. How are you all doing today? Do, 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 do. Tay's upgraded membership to gift tier why taze why why'd you spend more money 
Did you see the Squirtle Squad tagged you? All right, well, let's back it up a moment. I didn't know we're jumping right into the mess. Beep, boop, beep. Your girlfriend killed it today? I literally have LCS open on another monitor in case she goes up again. But if you guys aren't LCS fans, I mean, fair enough. It's League. But QD has been doing a lot of, like, the uh, post-game interviews or, like, in-between game segments, and she's been crushing it. She's been killing it, killing it. Uh, I heard you took a break from content, but now, but I'm back now. I took a break from Ludwig content, but I'm back now, and you're the co-owner of Moist. And cool, Andrew. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that is but that is what happened in both of our lives. What happened? What did you do during your break? I guess um, you, you didn't fill me in. When are you leaving for Japan? I leave for Japan next week, chat. I There is less than like a week left on desktop streams here in this room. I mean, this room will be here after I'm back, but I'm going to Japan. I'm not leaving because I'll still be streaming in Japan. I actually have a PC set up ready to go. I have like a cute little apartment complex. If you so if you don't know, if you don't know, I wasn't live yesterday and the day before because I went to New Hampshire to surprise my mom for her 60th birthday. Because 10 years ago, once upon a time in 2013, my mother turned 50. And at that point, it was just me and her living in a house together. Because my sister moved out to college and my father, we all know what happened there. And so I don't know what happened, but serendipitously, I decided I would jump into the room the, the moment the clock struck midnight on her 50th, 10 years ago, and go, happy birthday, mom! And film the whole thing, which was very out of character for me. But I, I was like, I don't know, she's 50, I should do something. And that's what I came up with as a 17-year-old. Uh, and the video that came from that was like a treasured family jewel. The video that came from that was this, it, it was this reaction that my mom had that I'd never seen before. She made noises I've never heard her make. It was something to the effect of this. <laughs> and it was, and it was, and it was, it, well, it, it was separated from the sheer terror on her face. Funny. Because we had, we had never seen that. So I sent it to every single person in our family. Uh, and and everybody loved it. Fast forward like five years. We're trying to find it again to rewatch it. To just live up the memories. The tapes are gone. The tapes are gone. Nobody can find them. Everybody remembers seeing them. Everybody remembers the terrifying screams. Everybody remembers laughing. Nobody can find the tapes. Fast forward to this week. My mother turned 60, 10 year anniversary of the last tape, also another big milestone in birthdays. So me and my sister show up to surprise her at midnight again. Cause we told her we would show up on the day of her birthday, but we actually showed up at midnight the day before her birthday. And then we walked in, we did the same exact thing to her. I have the video of it. I'm not gonna share it with you guys cause it's a family gem, not really a public gem, but I will say her reaction was much more muted. Her reaction back in the day was like sheer terror. This time she was like, and then in French, she was like, uh, we were like, happy birthday. She's like, happy birthday to you too. <laughs> and I was like, that's not, that's not what's going on here. You're going to get her a heart attack. That's what we keep joking about is at 70. She just gets a heart attack. <laughs> we're going to do it again at 70. She's going to be fucking last happy birthday ever. And we're going to take her out in one fell swoop. Anyway, I was doing that, so I've been gone the past couple days. I'm back now, but I leave to Japan next week. Now, I think a lot of people are assuming this Japan trip is like Ludwig vacation. I won't be doing any content. That's not true. Maybe at one point during my trip planning, that's what it was. But it has changed drastically. It has changed phenomenally. Um, originally is one month of Japan vacation only. Now it's going to be about two weeks. I'm going for like a little over two weeks. Just over two weeks. Uh, partly because I think there's no fucking chance Cutie's going <laughs> anymore. 
Like, originally, we had talked about it. Cutie's like, yeah, I'll come for a month. And I was like, hell yeah. And we're like, yeah, we'll go to Disneyland Tokyo, and then we'll do this. And then the closer we've gotten to it, uh, she's become more and more terrified of planes. Uh, and then reason two, I also have a sponsor when I get back. So, got to get that sponsor time in. Uh, so, it, but it'll still be a couple weeks, and if I like it a lot, I can go back whatever. So, I'm not that stressed about it. Um, oh my god, is Cutie on stage? Wait, Cutie's on stage, speaking of. And how do you feel today? It was like 2 out of 10. I was like, Bio, how do you feel today? It was like 5 out of 10. So, you took great advantage of that. Yeah, I mean, I think they had a picture of me in their, like, locker. Like, we're gonna kill them, and then... Yeah. I think that was their goal this game. That is, that's, <laughs> that's nice that you let them have their goal. Um... I have a question for you personally. I was going into the season as a first time 100 Thieves fan. I used to be a TSM fan. Awkward. Um, but I, I maybe, maybe I should be a CLG fan after their performance today. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, we're still like, um, what's the term? Like, oh. Not, hold on, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of blanking here. Like, we're looked down upon. Like, we're not uh -huh. giving respect. That's like, so sad. Play I'm seven. so sorry. Yeah. You know, uh, I like being the underdog, but I think we're going to prove people wrong again this year. So, Ooh. looking forward to that. Heck yeah, that sounds great. Well, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. So, I asked your manager for a sales pitch, which I'm sure you're really comfortable with this, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, uh, you've got great mental, physical, and dental hygiene. Yeah, that's all good attributes. You to like have. those about yourself? All right. And, and he said you can lift. How much do you lift besides your whole team? He looks uh, big. He looks big. <laughs> well, I'm oh, currently good on one. 185 for my bench, trying to get that to two plates sometime okay. this year. So uh, that's okay. cool. I won't have it before February 14th, though. So, you know. Oh, we won't have it. Well, you heard it here, guys. He does know how to brush his teeth, and he does know how to play. What do you play again? I don't know. Gang League of Legends. Gang oh. Plank. Okay, and he knows right. how to play Gang, gang, plank. Plank. gang plank. Very exciting. Uh, thank you so much. Great job today. Miguel, you're in the wrong chat. Miguel, that's my girlfriend. You're not allowed to call her cringe, okay? You're gone. You don't get to come back anymore. You, you should have picked up on that, Miguel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you, like, you should have picked up on that. That's not a hard one. I feel like you have the social aptitude to figure that out. That's not on me. That's on you. You should rethink. You should be like, oh, yeah, he actually has a good point. That was kind of weird of me when like, I talked to like, the boyfriend of the girl that he was watching and then said cringe. I, that was kind of dumb. And you'll, like, you'll grow, but not here. She's been killing the interviews. I think that they're just a bit less stuffy with the uh, with the bronze walking around. Silver, by the way. She's actually silver. She's selling herself short here. What was I talking about? Japan. Okay, so another thing about Japan. Another thing about Japan. So the trip is down to a, a little over two weeks now. There's a couple of really cool streams planned. One, I'm trying to do a Ludwig versus. Maybe with Hassan. We'll see if the schedules line up. I'm trying to do a Ludwig versus. If you remember, the Ludwig versus show is the one that I did with Sea Dog with the sushi stream. So we're going to do something similar in Japan. Uh, and it's going to be with drifting cars. And I think that'll be pretty fucking cool. All right. That'll be pretty cool. If it all happens, if it all works out, that'll be pretty cool. The second thing that is happening that's like a larger stream is a bros versus pros. I want to do a bros versus pros. There's a there's a thing in Japan, there's a food called wanka soba, which is which is which is it's basically just noodles in a little bowl and they keep refilling the bowl until you're like, "No, thank you. Please stop feeding me food." But they'll do it forever. They'll do it forever. And pretty much every white guy who goes to Japan tries to do this challenge. It's a very common thing to do. Uh, for for YouTubers and probably tourists as well. The challenge is like to get a hundred bowls. That's the that's like the mark of a true man or whatever. But what we're gonna do is have me, Atrock, and Stans try to go up against like one of like like a sumo wrestler or like um like a like a like a like a like a food eater. What do you call those? A quick consumer, whatever they're called, against a food challenge eater, and we're gonna see who who wins. Three regular men or one professional. 
Not a muck banger. A muck like like a Matt Stoney. Yeah, like a Matt. But what do you? A competitive eater. Yes. Thank you. So that's the plan there. That's the plan there. Uh, and then I'm, I also have a desktop. So I believe the hours like right now. Time in Japan right now is like 11 a.m. So if I get like a setup going, I'll probably end up doing streams from like 9 a.m. to like 1 p.m. Like three to four days a week. That's my goal. So I'd basically be streaming from like 5, maybe 4 p.m. Pacific to like 8 p.m. Pacific still, which is the same schedule. So I'll still have I'll still have streams at desktop. What is that EU? It's now. It's basically like I'll stream like right now. Wow, nice EU times. I've never had nice EU times. Why are you complaining now? Get off my ass. But that's the plan. So I'll have desktop streams. I'll also have that might ruin my sleep schedule. It's literally the same schedule it's always been. That's what I'm basically saying. The stream time won't change, and then people are like. Son of a bitch, that fucks me. I was like, what? Yeah, but I've been fucking you for years now. Why are you just talking about it? Anyway, so we'll have desktop streams. We have two cool streams happening. I don't think I'll vlog at all. Like, I don't, I don't want to be a vlogger. Maybe, maybe. Maybe I'll try to do some IRL streams, but if I do, they'll be like few and far between. I'm not an IRL stream guy either. I think the one thing I kind of want to try is to do some YouTube shorts rather than vlogs. Because like rather than do like a vlog and it's like, hey guys, this is me going to a hotel capsule and I'm going to sleep in it and then wake up. I, I, I feel like doing a one minute short is like, Check this shit out and then I'm just like all right. See you later and that's it. So I don't know That's what I'm thinking. That's in the in the shorts meta that we all live in now By the way, does anyone else feel this way? I dude I've been watching some YouTube shorts lately and I every time after like watching YouTube shorts feel like like a void in my heart like I feel like I have wasted time in a profound way I don't know what it is because I don't feel the same about watching TikToks. I feel like it's because YouTube shorts serve like the same. Sh it feels like there's like the same shorts that are served to everybody who watches them. You know, I, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm like tapping into like what everyone's supposed to be watching. And like, I, like I, for some reason, I watch it all the way through. And on TikTok, I'll watch and it'll be mostly like that. It'll be mostly brain rot. But then you'll have like a couple hidden gems. And it was like, that was all worth it. That was all worth it to watch this one random, you know, fucking high schooler eat shit on a skateboard. I don't know. I don't know. Something. There's usually something, but. TikTok reels and YouTube shorts are all brain rot. You're probably right. But I feel worse watching shorts for some, t some reason. And I can't, I haven't fully wrapped my head around why that's the case. But I think I'll get, I'll, I'll find out, I'll find out. Anyway, that's all to say that I'm adding to the ecosystem that is brain rot. Whoa, whoa, yeah, woo! You should shave your head in Japan, why? Like, I know the meme is like, thing, thing Japan, and then it's a guy soy jacking. But like, I don't think that applies to shaving head. Like, there's, there's no, like, there's no, like, shaving head, shaving head Japan. And then it's like, yes! Yes. Woo. Did you see Stanz's new video? Uh, I saw Stanz's most popular video of all time. And by that, I don't mean his most popular short of all time, which is what his most recent video is about. How he had a short with 6.8 million views. This, by the way, no offense to Stanz. I love Stanz. This short is part of what I think makes me feel like I'm getting brain rot when I watch YouTube shorts. Because a lot of the YouTube shorts, like a significant portion of them, are just people reacting to a thing happening. I've seen it so often. It's just like a dude reacting to like, yo, so this guy makes like metal, like metal things. All right, so he's casting in sand right now. Okay, maybe that's like a screwdriver or... No, no, it's not okay. 
And that's it. And I'm like, what, what are we doing here? So just like your regular videos? No, 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 no. Back it up. Back it up. Because would you say if Magnus Carlsen is reacting to chess openings, that would be the same? No, because he is an expert giving his thoughts, which are much higher level than your thoughts, on a particular thing he is, again, an expert of. Value added. Me, when I am reacting to TikToks, an expert of TikToks, okay? I could I could be I could be cited in 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 newspapers with the amount of knowledge I have about TikTok. I am providing worldly input that you otherwise would not have come to the conclusion of. Things like <laughs> Oh. Do you see what I'm talking about yet? It's value. It's value. Anyway, let's watch some unusual memes. Eat fresh. Uh, chat, let's watch this announcement. If you guys don't know, I am now a part of Moist Esports. Let's just watch. I have no doubt that today will be viewed as one of the most important announcements in American history, one that will absolutely be discussed in classrooms for decades to come. This is an announcement to rival the JFK we choose to go to the moon speech. What I'm about to share will not only change gaming forever, it'll change your life forever. If your parents are divorced, this news might get them back together. If your dog ran away from home, this news might bring them home. The point I'm making is the magnitude of this announcement is unlike anything you've ever experienced. This would be like if the government came out today and confirmed that there's aliens at Area 51. So I hope you're ready to have your third eye open to the future of gaming. If you don't know, pretty much every single esports organization is vastly overvalued because they're all subsidized by venture capitalist groups that are probably going to get fed up in three to five years when none of them are profitable or crypto exchanges. Exchanges. What the fuck, man? Dude, it, wh where'd you get that? Oh, this thing, I forgot I was holding it, yeah. This is the Rocket League Spring Major Championship trophy where we took first place in front of a sold-out copper box arena in front of God and every sports fan on this planet. Okay, we're not going to get into the fake editing. I have edited my own videos in the past. Do I do it often? No. No, I don't. Okay? Because I have a full staff on deck that does it for me. But I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've literally done it. That's the Moist Esports way. Uh, obviously, I'm talking about what you're wearing. Oh, you're talking about the CEO championship belt where we took first place in the Smash Major back in October of 2021. How do you keep doing that? Then oh, winning? Yeah. Hard work, perseverance, life, liberty, pursuit of dubs, the whole nine. Just champions over here. Okay, I get it. Moist is super successful. You don't have any crypto sponsors. But don't you have to burn a lot of money to win that much? Didn't Susan give you a lot of money to burn? So you just burn the money like this? Just like that, that's looking good. This is fun. It gets addicting, I'll tell you what. I could get used to this. That's right, baby. Mogul Moves X Moist Esports. I'm joining as a co-owner of Moist. Who's back there? Back there is, is um, Matt, who is uh, another part of Moist who we were going to include in this in a more meaningful way and then totally didn't and forgot. And like, that's it. There's no better reason The honestly. So we built this fire and then like the whole, the whole bit was cutting from him swapping out. This was this, this idea of video was my concept. So if you didn't like it, blame me. This is my idea. I thought it was funny. And so I was like, okay, we're going to burn fake money. And, but the fire we built, these these fuckers are in Florida. So the Florida winds were insane. Like the fire would like it would it would go like <laughs> into like a tornado sometimes. So we only got two takes before like the the hair off our legs and arms were singed. The money wasn't real. Oh, uh, no, of course not. That'd be like a federal crime. The real money being burned will always be in Smash, FGC, and Rocket League. That's where we're actually burning it. This is just a metaphor. Anyway, we only got two takes, and this take was kind of mid, but we just had to use it because we couldn't do it again.
because the, the the wind was too high. Woo! Woo! Something right about me and Moist, huh? Okay. I'm at home. Dude, I'm a co-owner. What a title, huh? What a title. So, I mean, I, I, don't know, I think Charlie All will talk about it here, right? I assume. Plus, at the WET headquarters are extremely excited to have Ludwig on board as one of the owners of Moist Esports to really continue to grow it and make it something extremely special. He's not just going to be like a random co-owner that no one even knows is associated with Moist Esports. Kind of like Snoop Dogg to FaZe, where all Snoop Dogg's done is take a single photo of him holding a FaZe chain. And then I'm sure he's completely forgotten what the fuck FaZe Clan even is. Ludwig seems equally as passionate and excited about Moist Esports as we are. And we already have some very big plans in the works to make it something really special this year. Also, for the record, everything Ludwig has ever said about Esports is 100% accurate right on the nose. Yeah, and that's also why I didn't make my own Esports team. Like, throughout life, you guys probably have noticed by now that most of the things I do, I just end up doing myself. Not because I think I'm better than other people, not because I, I, I'm smarter, wiser, not even because I'm like passionate and motivated. Usually I do it because I don't trust anyone else. I, like I, I did, I've, I've told the story before, but like specifically for like agencies, right? Like when I started like getting bigger, I wanted to make my own, uh, or I, I wanted to join an agency, right? To get like sales, to ha so help have someone help me like enter new spheres and verticals. And I got on a call with this dude from California, a a a I don't know what they're called, CAA. It's like California Actors Agency, Acting Asso Agency Association, whatever. It's that group who you've probably heard of. They're like a big deal. They have like every actor under the sun in their roster. Uh, and they have like a bunch of musicians. They're a creative artists agency. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, they have a bunch of insane people like on their team. Um, a bunch of insane talent. And I got on a call with them like right when I hit like a few thousand viewers, right when I was kind of popping off. And, uh, and, and, it, and it literally sounded, if you guys know that one Bo Burnham song where he's like, Mr. Burnham. And he goes on, he's like, we really got to take this Bo Burnham brand and solidify it in the space for all the Zoomers. And it was like that. It was like a dude talking to me like an alien. And he was like, yeah, right now in this space, I'm mainly working with a lot of the actors, the Matt Damons, the, some bands, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And we really see some initiative in the streaming sphere, this creator ecosystem to explode in a way over the next five to ten years. So a lot of things are being done there. And it wasn't even like it wasn't even like, hey, I like your stream. Like, I think we could work well together and we could let you do new things. It was like, yeah, I've locked in probably 50 million dollars of deals in the past 18 months alone. And it was like, OK. What are we talking about here? And then I was like, yeah, uh, I have this show called Twitch Jeopardy, and I kind of want to make it like a larger production. And they were like, yeah, that's great. We signed Dr. Disrespect. Have you heard of him? The two time. And, and, and the whole entire conversation, I was just I was just cringing internally. But I was like, I was like doing the Ludwig thing. I was like, yeah, man, that sounds great. Honestly, sounds great. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Hung up the call. Never ever replied to a message from that agency or any other agency ever again. And then I hit up Atrioc and Stance and we made our own, which is now off brand, which has spawned into a, a different thing. But that's that's it. That's that's why. And I've been like I've been un like I I don't trust any like clothing companies to do all like my merch for me. It just feels like there's so many people who like over promise, under deliver. They're like super, super egotistical and they don't feel like real humans and they don't treat me like a real human. So I've usually done things my own way because of that. Occasionally I work with people that I like, I trust and like a lot, like beyond the summit or whoever. But, uh, but for esports, that's the one thing that I've never wanted to do. I've never like, I, like, like I've want, that's a lie. I've wanted to do esports, but I, every time I like, I talk about it either to myself and try to like think through the details of it, or I talk to like a Nick, Nick Allen or, or like one of my other friends about it. It's like, you know what? This makes no fucking sense. This doesn't make any sense. It seems like a distraction from what the goal of what we're trying to do is, which is make cool content and cool shit and, and, and sell bidets. 
And and starting up a fucking esports company is going to require like a lot of overhead. Like ignoring ignoring the amount of players you have to sign, right? Let's just ignore. Let's just imagine that everybody I sign comes on for free. You still need a load of managers to to take care of these players, book flights, make sure they 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 have hotels at the events. Uh, you have to like make sure you have merch for them to wear, and like you have to keep that ecosystem going. You have to have like a social media team. So like these, there's all these things that are like like just you know that were just like ugh, barriers that made me never want to attempt it, even though I'm passionate about esports. Thank you for the ten dollars super chat. Uh, can my company send you a custom pair of Lotto shoes? No, thank you very much though. I appreciate it. Send it to someone who doesn't have shoes because I have too many. Uh, and uh, and then. Hello? Hello? I'm back. Okay, I got to figure out what's going on with my mic. I got to figure out what's going on with my mic. We'll figure that out in a little bit. Anyway, uh, Charlie hits me up one day, and he's like, he's like, hey, how's it going, Ludwig? And I was like, how's it going, big man? And he's like, it's going good, big man. Same as, same as always. And I'm like, same as always over here, uh, big man. And he's like, big man. And I was like, big man. And then he, he was like, would you, would you be interested in, would you be interested in maybe, like, I don't know, like, in, like, like investing in Moise. And I was like, and I was like, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, figures. This is my first, my dead ass, my first thought is figures. This son of a bitch is out of money already. <laughs> I was like, yep, the eSports devil has taken another one. Son of a bitch is already down a broke. Next thing I know, I'll be seeing him on the streets asking for change, trying to do commentary on any little thing for a penny. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, how much, Charlie? And he's like, oh, no, like, I'm not even worried about the money. Like, if you wanted to come in as, like, an owner and, like, you know, share in, like, you know, like, you know make esports teams. And I was like, oh. I, I never even thought of that as an option, you know? And I, and I like working with Charlie a lot. So initially, like, anything Charlie asks me to do, I don't really think about it too much. Like, my gut just says yes. If he was like, if he was like, hey, you want to like put our tongues into like outlets and see like who dies first? I'd be like, fuck, man. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> like, I'm not dying to do it. Like, I wouldn't do it without you. But if you want to do it, I'll do it with you. Like, son of a bitch, I'm in. So when it's something that's actually fun and cool, I'm like, all right. Uh, and, and it also reduces a lot of the risk, right? Like, there's a lot of risk if I make an esports team. Just risk in terms of, like, the lift I have to do to make that esports team operate throughout the years. But Charlie has done it by himself without me, right? With his with his group. But he's done it, you know? And so me coming on should feasibly only make it, like, a little easier and a little better. So anyway, let's keep watching the vid. Almost no esports organizations are profitable. The fucking lemonade stand you ran as a kid in middle school probably brought in more money than tier one esports orgs. It is an industry that just gobbles up these clams nonstop. It it's also worth adding, it's mostly NA esports. For whatever reason, NA esports much differently than like Korean esports or European esports or like any other area of the world is like wildly expensive. Wildly expensive. Sometimes without even the benefit of more viewership. Sometimes with less viewership, it can be more expensive for NA teams. And it, and it makes no sense. It makes zero. It's not like they're making more money. It, I think it's just literally like for whatever reason, venture capitalist groups in America just haven't figured out in like the eight years they've been in esports that it doesn't make money. So they just keep dumping money into it, and I think it jacks up the prices for everything else. I, I, I feel like there's going to be a bubble that pops in esports, specifically in NA esports, in the next, like, in the next, like, year. In the next year to two years. There's got to be, like, every esports... Either it's going to, like, I don't think they're necessarily going to go bankrupt, but I think a lot of esports teams are going to, like, try to sell. A lot of esports teams are going to downsize tremendously, you know? Because, like, every esports team, it feels like like they have a League of Legends spot. Not for any real value other than, like, if you have a League spot, it kind of makes you seem like a legitimate esports team. <laughs> right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, most people who are in LCS aren't fucking good at League. Right? Like, NA LCS as a whole usually is one of the worst performers in any, like, global event. 
But then even within NA, there's like four teams, five teams every single season who are like, yeah, they just kind of suck the whole time. But like they they stay in, they spend millions of dollars on all their players. They have their $20 million, $30 million roster spot. And it just seems like a like a Pokemon gym badge that you need to seem legit. So I don't know. I don't know. That 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 that's on my mic today. I do not know. We're gonna have to figure out what's going on on my mic today. Son of a bitch, I'm getting boomed. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, that's that's it. That's the gist of it. That's the gist of it uh, for most esports teams, why they don't make money. It is just gluttonous when it comes to eating money, but it doesn't even have the decency to shit out a little bit of it in return. And that includes moist esports. We are so far from profitable. It is bleeding money faster than a crypto bro investing in a shit coin that he saw on Twitter. But for us, it's more than worth it. The content is absolutely unbeatable. Even just this. Also worth throwing in here, Moist Esports is a, it's a very skinny esports team. It's a very low overhead. Like if you think of most esports teams, they have like their one league spot. You know, maybe they have a Valorant team. Like those are like all, all the Riot games. Those are their tier one teams. You know, and then they have like some other ventures. Like they signed a lot of creators, Fortnite creators, whatever. And they're, they spread to so many different verticals. They're not necessarily known for one, but they're entered into every esports. You think of the Liquids, the 100 Thieves, the TSMs, the G2s, the people who are like in every single esport, no matter what it is. And once you get in all those esports, you realize, oh, you got to be spending millions of dollars just in like salaries. You got to be spending tens of millions of dollars to like be getting these rosters and be in these spots and these franchise spots a lot of the times. And it's like, and it's like fucking hell. And Moist, on the other hand, is very specialized in like two things. Moist is good at FGC and Moist is good at Rocket League. That's about it. That's it. That's it. Which I feel like is smart. I feel like it's smart. You know, it's the other team that did this, I think, very well. Panda rest in peace, but Panda did this very well. And I, Panda was probably a, 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 a profitable company, you know, because, or maybe not because how much they spent on probably controllers and stuff in R and D, but I think they, they were doing very well because yeah, there's also an apex team. There's also an apex team, uh, but they're doing very well. Uh, they were doing very well because it was such a, it was such a, they were so focused. FGC is fighting game community. It usually encompasses Smash, although Smash is a platform fighter. So it's sometimes considered outside of the traditional fighting game community, but they are all under the same umbrella. So anyway, anyway, uh, um, uh, that's a good thing about Moist is that the overhead is much lower because it's very specialized in just a few esports that are also a lot cheaper. <laughs> you can imagine like the salary... For for a smasher is a little bit different than the salary for like one League of Legends team. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. I'm pretty sure the highest paid League of Legends player makes more in a year than the top 100 melee players. I'm I've not fact checked this at all, but I believe this. This last weekend, we got to watch Genesis 9, where Moki took third place in one of the biggest melee tournaments ever held. We got to watch Light take third place in one of the biggest ultimate tournaments ever held. The content is just beyond exciting. We have Rocket League starting up again, where we just got second at the last major. And then we also have the Apex Land Major rolling around in February. Like, we, we just have so much incredible stuff going on that is just the best fucking content. So losing all that money on it doesn't bother us. And it doesn't bother Ludwig. In fact, he seems very excited. Now in an ideal world... Not to burn money specifically, but to watch the things, yeah. I, I, like I'll say, I think this, the single highest peak I've ever had watching something, like consuming things, was at Genesis 7, right? Like, like, like forget about Patriots winning the Super Bowl, right? Like Celtics... Any esports team, any chess game, like there was a period that many of you guys might not have been around for where uh, Zane was transitioning one of the best Smash players, the best melee players, from uh, his team at Panda to his team at Golden Guardians. And in that interim, he did not have a team, so he's wearing a Mogul Moves hoodie. 
I signed him. I made him this hoodie. Or excuse me, I made this hoodie. I had him wear it. I bought him Gucci shoes. And I made like a specific jacket that he wore throughout the event. And if he won, I, I, I would sell the jacket to everybody. Uh, and then and then and then he ended up fucking winning. Oh, air dodging oh of all things. Oh my god, and Ed Zane double jumping in space. Dude, I forgot this was game five. This was game five, last stock, last hit. 88% 131. In place twice. Yeah. yeah. Although Zane wasn't winners. The, yeah, but. the adrenaline pumping through these players' bodies must oh, be insane. Tried to catch him with the up air going real high. Oh, that's oh, going to be it. Zane! 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 Zane takes Genesis 7 to his first time on the big stage versus a veteran hungry box. And it was like, it was like the coolest fucking experience of my life. I was in the crowd. I, my heart had never like, I'd never been more anxious. I'd never been more nervous. I've never been more excited. Like I couldn't, I was, I was, I couldn't speak. I was without words for like fucking five hours just because I was so nervous. I was just like. Is that his girlfriend? Yeah. I, I, honestly, I was going to do the same thing and leap into his arms, but she kind of beat me to it. I'm not mad about it, but, like, she beat me to it. Like, I would have done that. <laughs> the number one. Uh, and it was dope. It was dope. So, like, being able to recapture that by being a part of Moist and, like, having some sort of, like, connection, with whether it's the Rocket League team or Moki in Melee or, or Light or uh, Goblin or any other of the Ultimate players will make it mo much more fun to watch, I think. Not only fun to watch for me, but hopefully fun to watch for you guys. You know what I mean? Because, like, you guys also sometimes watch these esports, and then we can, like, co-stream some of these esports, and it's, like, more exciting to watch because we've done, like, Valorant co-streams in the past or League co-streams. It's more fun to watch if we have some, like, if we have some stake in it. Uh, picture perfect utopia. It'd be nice to eventually have some profit come in so I don't have to just keep paying for everything out of pocket. But even if that doesn't roll around, if we never make it to that fantasy fairy tale land, I also just don't mind putting up all the money myself every month. Like, it just, it is so fucking worth it for me because I have some of the most fun watching and supporting our teams play and compete. And I know Ludwig will too. He's already been watching and he's already been getting super excited. He was at Genesis 9, so he got to watch some of the Moist Esports boys fucking pop off live and in person, have his hair fucking blown back by their overwhelming testosterone and spiritual presence on the goddamn sticks. It's just such an incredible ride, and it's amazing to have a friend like Ludwig on board for this now. Friend. Because I think the things we can do together with friend. Moist Esports are going to be fucking incredible. Some of the things we have planned right around the corner, I'm really excited to share with you as they come closer. There's just a lot on the horizon here for Moist Esports. This is just the beginning. We've only been around for a little over a year and a half, and we've already won seven majors across four different games. We'll get That's ready crazy. to multiply that number by 100 this year, even, maybe. Point is a little bit of an overpromise. Probably an over. I would not, as a co-owner of Moist, I would like to temper the expectations of the people watching because that is. I don't even know if there's that many majors. To be frank, seven hundred majors. That's like two a day. I don't think that. I don't think that works like that. So, I'm gonna dial that back a bit. Probably get a few wins though. That's what I'm saying. A few dub. He's he's we're kind of a good cop bad cop. He's like the, he's like the, you know, he exaggerates. I, I keep it, I keep it back down, back down to earth. Come back down to earth. Charlie said, I believe it. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We'll have fun though. We'll have, a, we'll have a great time. We're, we're aiming to do incredible shit and big wet sloppy kisses to Ludwig. Who's now one of the owners of moist esports. I know this is going to be incredible, and I hope all of you Give are as hyped up about it kids. as we are. So, <laughs> yeah, just wanted to talk about this, and that's about it. So, yeah. Uh, also worth noting, one of the things that made me kind of excited about doing this is that although it will be under the moist umbrella, which I'm cool with, and I like the moist umbrella, uh, if I if I start a new vertical, if I enter a new eSport, I can, I can co-brand it like whatever I wanted to. So I, I'm not married to moist. Like, everything will always be moist at the end of the day. But, like, for example, Melee, which is something that's way more under, like, my sphere. You know, I like doing all the events and, and yada yada. I can call it whatever I want. We're not going to call it Goats Esports. We're not going to call it, I, I, oh, hey, here's my badge. I watch the yard. No. No.
We're not gonna do. We're not gonna do goatsy sports, cause goatsy is stupid. That'd be fucking. That'd be fucking stupid. Are we gonna do goatsy? That'd be stupid to do goatsy sports. What we, what we, what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking. No, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. We're not gonna, cause it's, cause you know why. The thing is, you know why. Like I don't need to tell you guys why, cause you know why. You know why. Look at this post somebody made already, by the way, on the subreddit. Obviously not. Obviously not. It's a no. You should know why. It's a no. Meets beneath sports. That's worse. That's worse. That's porn. I might as well call it the suck and fuck fuckers. Cut out esports altogether. <laughs> Seriously, you're not, you're not even thinking. It looks good. No, it doesn't. I mean, it's it's actually kind of well designed, but no, it doesn't. Charlie likes it. Yeah, and he also likes overpromising and burning millions of dollars. So it's like, you know, some things you got to ignore him on. All right, take my word on this. Goatsy Sports, not it. Not it. It's not a beautiful name, by the way. It's not a beautiful, it's not a, a beautiful name is like Poseidon. That's beautiful. Goats? It's not beautiful. I mean, it's all right. Esports? Not really. Poseidon's not cringe. He's the god of water and rain and oceans. Seas. I think general bodies of water. Just one of those. I feel like he covers all water. He's like the water guy. Like, the, like I, I don't know. Greek mythology, the way it works is like, you have like Poseidon who's got a water and then like, what is it like tr tr Triton and he's like the god of lakes or something but like I feel like Poseidon's still like he's the head boss like if he wanted to micromanage he could but like they have gods for everything I'm pretty sure if you like pee and it forms a puddle they have a Greek god for that and he appears in your yellow piss anyway what I'm thinking all right hear me out moguls Huh? Come on. Keep it classy. All right? Drop the moves. It's unnecessary. Everyone who's a part of it's moguls. Combine it's moist moguls. Take the take the first two letters. It's Momo. Same as mogul moves. Mogul moves. Moist mo moist moguls. It's nice. It's classy. And then and then imagine the merch. You know how we had the chess boxing merch? What if we had like what if we had like smash boxing merch and it was like the sweatshirt and it said moguls and then it had like the metal key i don't know that's kind of cool that's kind of cool you know huh not bad not bad eminem yeah we got a little eminem thing going on kind of cool kind of cool you guys are coming around you guys are coming around i get sense you guys are coming around what esports do i want to enter I mean, you know, for now, I want to I want to I want to develop the brand name. Right. Even though it's like technically moist, I want to make sure like people know moguls as a part of moist. And it's like its own cool, not its own cool thing, but like it's a cool thing. Uh, I also want to make sure that like we have enough like we have like a good roster, you know, because right now it's just Moki on an island. I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it. Honestly, you know what I think is kind of hype is, uh, and none of you guys are going to get, no, not, Valorant's cool, but what I was thinking, chess. I don't, it's not really a thing. Like, nobody signs, I know Hikaru was signed by TSM, and like, there was sometimes like some chess creators, but like, it'd be kind of hype to sign like a chess player. And imagine they have like a fucking, like a fancy ass suit or something. I don't know, that'd be cool. I don't know. I'm just ruminating. I'm just ruminating. Don't do a poll. Don't do it. What does this poll say? Official poll that Ludwig has to adhere to. No. <laughs> that's, not what, that's not what this is. Also, also, you can't do vomit emoji. Right? You can't do the vomit emoji. Imagine. Imagine. It is 2024. Presidential election. You're sitting down. It's the fucking, it's the, it's like the ballot they give you. And it's like, and you got two options. And it's like Donald Trump, age 93. And then it's like Joe Biden, vomit emoji, cringe, 
phase logo, phase logo. Gay. Age 3,000 years old. Blah, blah, blah. Like, that would be a problem. That would be a problem. Biden is cringe, though. That's not the point. That's not the point. The, the point is that it's it's not balanced. Like, you should have done GOATS eSports vomit, vomit. Moguls vomit, vomit. That would have been equal. That would have been fair. Lud, play the light clip. Oh, dude, the light clip is funny. The light clip is funny. Yeah, for sure. Honestly, you should pay me because I just saved your bracket from Spin Dash. <laughs> No, 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 your bracket. You, you, you get paid for that. So you want to raise? I want to raise. You want to go find I want to raise. Let the player join, okay. join, join, join <laughs> Moist. Join Moist and then give me a raise. All right, all right, I I'm need down. to know it's I'm from down. you. I'm down. I'm down. Right, 2023, right, 20, I got you. All right, I got you, man. Isn't that crazy? That, like, totally serendipitous conversation is is light a part of Moist Esports saying, join more Moist and give me a raise. And then I join Moist in the exact year I said that would happen. That's crazy. Predict actually predicted. You legally have to give him a raise? I do. I, I didn't say how much a raise has to be. I'm, I'm thinking a buck fifty or something. <laughs> you know, it's like like a buck fifty a day. You know, at the end of the week, it gets you like an easy Five Guys burger, right? M not even probably, but maybe some fries. It's a raise. Shit, it's a raise. Don't be greedy. Fuck. <laughs> um, Valorant, dude. Okay, I I was tagged like three hundred times. Uh, about this Valorant group called Squirtle Squad, which is which is uh, a cute name. Terrible. It's a terrible name because it's uh fucking copywritten. So obviously it's not gonna it, it's not gonna. The only name I could think of that's maybe worse is Goats Esports. But uh, uh, the Squirtles I've been tagged a lot in them because apparently they're just it's like a cracked group of teenagers that formed a Valorant squad because no like tier one or tier two team signed them. And then they were just good enough by like their raw talent as cracked Valorant teenagers that they got into the challengers league, which is like a pretty difficult thing to do in NA. Like only 12 teams did that. And they're one of them. Like anyone in the world could have done it. And they were one of them that did it. So I don't, I do think it's kind of interesting, but I don't know. Valorant's tough too. Valorant's tough. Cause it's like, cause it's like, uh, they did one. I know I, they won LCQ, and that's huge. But f if you don't know the way Valorant works, it's like it's fucking confusing. Cause like, cause they already did something impressive. They won. Uh, they won LCQ, right? Already impressive. Now they, in twelve other teams, go to challengers. And then the challengers people have to play for like I don't know, like a fucking f like a few months. And then how many teams make it into Ascendant chat? Is it six? Is it six more? Six more? Eight? So then the 12, is it two? Is it four? So they already have some, right? I think they already have some. Is it eight total? Two make it in the end. So then two people from this 12 get whittled down to two. And those people make it through to Ascendance League. And then there's already like a few teams who are in the Ascendant League, I believe. And then of those eight teams that are in Ascendant, only one will make it to the franchise spot, which is like the super valuable spot, uh, which is like, you know, like tier one status. So it's a hard road. They're basically here. But they have to go through this, and they have to go through this, and they have to go through this. Not to say they don't have the potential, by the way. They could 100% do it. But, like, I, what I would feel bad about is, like, okay, let's say I sign a Valorant team, and and they get knocked out here. Sad face emoji. They get knocked out. Which is, like, it wouldn't be, like, shocking. It would be, it'd be sad, but it wouldn't, like, that could happen. Then I think they just have to wait until next year, right? I think they have to wait until next year, and then they have to do it all over again. 
That's what could happen to Toast's team, for example. And in that event, are you like, what is Toast planning on doing? Do you cut the team? Is it like, hey, we tried our best. It's GG. Let's let's pack things up. I don't know. Maybe it's worth. I don't know. So I've, that's what I've been thinking about. That's what I've been mulling over. They can't get knocked out. Can't they get knocked out of contention for ascendance? They can't get knocked out of challengers, sure, but challengers will end, right? Isn't that how it works? Or do they always stay in challengers? I don't know. I I I, I also have to do more research. Anyway, uh, that's 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 the that's the update. That's the update. Ludwig Pogchamp, now a member of Moist. Isn't there multiple leagues you can participate in every year? I think there's like, yeah, there's like two splits. It's kind of like league. So they're they're in the first split. So they could maybe make it in the second split, but there's not like multiple leagues. Um, Do you see Kai got banned from Twitch? I did, yeah. He took an edible and passed out, right? I mean, it is what, that's how it goes, right? That's not like a big surprise. Thoughts on Carmine Corp getting into the Smash scene? They're French. I'm on board. Sign a Fortnite team. You only need two people. Uh I don't I don't understand Fortnite enough. I need to understand more about Fortnite. CSGO, from my knowledge of CSGO, NA is a non-factor, and there's no point in really having a team unless it's an EU team, which I guess is possible. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know enough about CS at the moment. I'll be honest. I'm a Valo. I'm a Valo frog. I'm not much of a CS frog. But I mean, oh, you always feel free to DM me if you got some ideas, if you got some musings, some rumblings. CS is dead as fuck, is it not? CS might seem dead to like a layman because they don't have a lot of like content creators and they don't have like a lot of average stream viewers, but they have a huge player base specifically in like Europe, Eastern Europe and, uh, and all the tournaments get a shit ton of viewers. So it's not, it's not dead at all. It's actually doing super well, but yeah, I think it's like probably just not on your sphere because it doesn't like, it doesn't do well on Twitch. Like nobody, there's not like a day to day CS streamer that people are down to watch. Unlike Valorant, which always has, like, you know, it's always, like, top fucking two or three games. CS is a little, it's a little down there. Unless there's a tournament. SAP. Why would I sign myself to an SAP team? Because I am the GOAT. Chat, we're going to play some chess. Mods, can you turn off the, um, the back seating? Like the mod that times everybody out. Chet, I have a problem. I have a problem that I've been dealing with for a while. I'll show you. Actually, hold up. I got to switch accounts because everyone's going to challenge me. It's going to be annoying. Nah. Here's my problem. Every single time I boot up a game of chess, if you just glance over at the chat before I even get to make a move, 
I'll have somebody with some dumbass advice. Whether it's valid, like Queen Z69, or, you know, uh, or excuse me, invalid like that, or something valid. Like, play E4. There's always backseaters when I play chess. And so today, I thought it'd be fun if rather than playing chess against random people and having to deal with you assholes trying to tell me how to play the game, I would challenge you guys directly. And we would do a head-to-head -to, -head to see who is better at chess, me the streamer, or you guys the chatters. Who's smarter? And so auto with Truffle, if you guys are Truffle users, developed a way for you guys to, I believe, make moves in the game of chess. Hold up, I'm going to call auto and figure this out. Hold up, hold up. <clears throat> hey! Yo. How does this shit work? Well, uh, I've just turned it on. So... For anyone who has Truffle installed, you should be able to see a chessboard in the bottom right hand of the, the stream. Overlaid on top. So if I just click on the stream, it'll be there? Should be. If you don't see it, you might need to reload. Oh, I see it. It's in the bottom right. Oh, I yeah. can make a move. You can make a move. Although, we're not in a game right now, so it won't do anything. Um, and I can see that 100... 80 people so far have, have put in Pawn E4. 200 now. Um, so definitely some backseaters in here. People love backseating. I'm on mobile. Truffle's now available on mobile, guys. There's a Truffle mobile site. Does it work on the Truffle mobile site? It should, right? Uh, I'm not sure. That's I fair. I think not. Um, but uh all you have to do if you want to play against chat is is challenge uh ludwig underscore chat on on chess.com uh and we can we can see how chat actually does so who do i challenge ludwig underscore chat ludwig underscore chat i think okay the way i do it is i do this and then i do this and then i type a message to ludwig chat and i go yo and then i click on the name and then I hit this, and then I hit challenge, and then after I hit challenge, I'll just do a 10 minute game. And then I'll hit play. Oh. Okay, I have about 50 people challenging me. My name's Ogren. Yeah, I gotcha. And we're in? Okay. Let's show the board. Uh, and let's see what people want to play. Son of a bitch. All right, so I'm going to mute, and I'm going to play my game. But you're basically seeing all these moves and playing the most popular one. Yep. So, like, for example, right now, chat just picked E4, one of the most common openings. And if they I did. play D5, what are they What are they saying to do? Uh, looks like the most common move is to take the pawn by far. And then if I do this, what do they do? Well, let's see. Oh, they want to move their knight out. Attacking me directly. Uh-huh. Interesting. All right, I'm going to mute and play. I'm going to mute and play. All right, all right. So this is my experiment. It's me by myself against all of chat in a game of chess. Let's see who's smarter. If you don't see the board, you might not have Truffle enabled. You guys can go to the description to enable that. Um, yeah, that's it. You guys have to go enable it. Just go to the description and download Truffle on your browser. It works on most browsers. And if you don't see it, um, like make sure you refresh. Make sure you've updated your browser. Make sure you've updated Truffle. It might not work in theater mode, is what some people are saying. All right, it looks like we've opened up with a very traditional Sicilian from the Mies Cotacos. 
Gubensky melts Bronstein variation. How do you play chess? I'm still trying to figure that out, man. If you're on your phone and for whatever reason you can't play, you can just watch and then if you want to spam backseating shit in chat, I mean, feel free. Go ahead. Go crazy. All right, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to castle. Can anyone just move a piece or is it a vote? Basically, what chat sees is like every single option uh, uh on the board and then they make the move. So they're literally making a move and then Otto will see like, okay, this move is played like 40% of the time. This move is played 15% of the time. It'll pick whatever the most popular move played is. Not the best move, just the most played one. Beep, beep, beep. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. Wait, whoa. Wait, that's kind of clever. Wait, what the fuck? Did you guys... Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Wait, what the fuck? There's no way you guys just came up with that on your own. There's no fucking way you came up with that on your own. It broke. Refresh. Um. Shit, what do I do? All right, hold up. Let me let me do something clever in smart. Let me get this guy to safety. Fuck me! Oh, I did not think about the queen being under attack. I only thought about the rook forks, so I thought I'd just be able to... Oh, fuck me, dude. That's so fucking annoying. You're a fucking idiot! You're an idiot! I fooled you! Check this out! Check that out! You're so dumb. You got so baited. You got so baited. Oh, my God. You must have thought you were so clever with your queen rook fork. I sacked the rook. Damn. Damn. Holy shit. <laughs> Chad, maybe you guys aren't allowed to that back was a short game. Uh, yeah, that was short. That's kind of weird. I thought they'd be a little better, a little stronger, but yeah, you'd think with that that the 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 night move there at the end, there was like six hundred people all all wanted to do that move. How many people chose to play like pawn f three? There were like I think a total of like fifty others. <laughs> It was pretty, All pretty unanimous right. there. All right. What an easy one. Okay. Well, uh, Chad, maybe Chad's just better at playing black, you know? Yeah, let me re I'll rematch. I'll give him a rematch. Why we'll not? Rematch, give him yeah. a Come on. I'll give him a good old rematch. <laughs> Can you also screen record, like, the... Uh, Yeah. Just how they play? Yeah, I got my, my stream running. All right, dope. Oh, wait, you're live? Have you been? Uh, Just one live, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, I'm back to playing. Uh, all right, chat, let's see. Let's see how you do here. All right. Um, let's do this. Let's see how you guys play against a master. Board gone. Refresh, you should get a new board chat, right? Refresh.
You're cheating again? I don't need to cheat to bait a bunch of you dummies into a checkmate. That's not a bait. That's a fucking scam. And I don't need any experience on that shit because I've been doing it since 1995. They're going to call the Ponzi scheme the Augurin scheme by the time I'm done on this earth. Okay, actually kind of an interesting move, attacking the pawn. I'll defend the pawn with my knight, because my queen will likely get displaced soon. Perhaps a move like this to set up this, and maybe a Fianchetto is coming. Okay, a very direct move. A very direct move. Okay, we can play a check. Take out the earbuds. I'm not cheating. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Let's bring our bishop out. I might expect to move like, I don't know, pawn here. Yeah, that's kind of to be expected. All right, I'm going to bring my queen back. We're still defended. We're still doing okay. All right, we can make this play now. Castling's usually a safe choice, but because my queen oh, is uh, pinning this pawn, this pawn can't take my bishop because the pawn is pinned to the king. Uh... Oh, what a nasty move. Damn, that was kind of nasty. What the fuck? Holy shit. Wait, that was nasty. How the fuck did you guys come up with that shit? No, no, I'm not even lying. It protected both my attack with the queen while simultaneously attacking... Uh, my queen itself. However, this is worse for you guys overall because the pawn structure is looking kind of uggo. What the fuck is this fancy <laughs> fucking 1700s dinner song ass? All right, well, let's just let's just go with something classy here. Okay, interesting move. Bishop defended by the queen. Also the pawn here. Uh, let's just castle. Let's just castle right now. Our advantage is that we have a pawn in front of our king. You guys don't. All right, you offer a trade to consolidate your pawn structure. It does weaken your king more. So I'm kind of interested in doing it. I think I'll... I think I'll back up. I think I'll back up. I'm down for you guys to do the work of attacking me rather than me doing the work of attacking you. This also gives my rook a nice file. All right, queen coming in hot. I don't know what the exact goal is of this queen. All right, let's go here maybe. This guy's defended. This guy's defended. Yeah. All right, good defense. Good defense. 
Let's actually back my ass up a bit. Chat, you play with Truffle if you don't have it. Interesting move. Interesting move. Live and learn. Uh, I could take, but I, I think I lose some advantage if I do that. This is kind of interesting here. What if I... If I go here, they'll probably take. You guys keep, you, you seem kind of blood hungry right now. So I feel like if I take, you'll take. Or excuse me, if, if I give you the option to take, you'll take. I could take. It's not the worst move I take. Huh. Maybe I, I want to take. Let's take. Let's take. I'm going to take. I think the advantage of taking is now I can take this pawn for free. Live and learn. Edge of tomorrow. Okay. Attacking the bishop. Uh, interesting. Huh. Let's do this. Protecting. Attacking. Can't go here. Oh. That was a mistake from nobody. That was a good move, chat. A sack? Okay, kind of smart from chat. They sack a piece. I think the reason chat did that is because either you're dumb or you noticed what, what I was trying to do right here is I blocked you from protecting this square. And this square had a fork with the rook and the king. So if you had moved, for example, like over here, you know, or just kept it here, you could have died, but I don't know. There, there's probably better responses than sacking straight up. I'm not even going to lie. Kind of a, a, a mid decision, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, okay, let's... We're up a lot now. We're up a lot now. I feel good. I just got to kind of bring this one home. Um, I feel like you guys are making a weird decision. Let me take here. I think I just get a pawn for free. I feel like you guys are going to take with a rook. You're trolling? I think you're just bad. I think you're just bad. And then I think I can take with this piece. <gasps> Fuck no, that hangs this piece. Mistake. Did I say it hangs the piece? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, tough game here for you fellas.
Wait, what the fuck did I just do? Let's check a little game review, shall we, chat? All right, let's see what you guys well, could improve. Well, well. Got to, got to, I got to, I got to do a little game review so these guys can maybe improve with their craft a bit. <laughs> that was a good idea. I also have a, a, a little pitch, um, which is it seems like the majority of chat is pretty bad, so I might start picking the second highest voted move. Wait, what? What if we we do one game where we always pick the second highest move? The second highest? Yeah. That's kind of a bold play. Yeah. Because if there's something really obvious, like taking back a, a queen, perhaps they will need to... Well, what if they make bad moves? There. Well, well <laughs> I don't think that's a problem. I mean, that's, that, uh, that's, the, that's the current state so of things. So Ludwig versus chat and their second best moves now. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Give it a shot. Oh, it says I am not able to chat. Okay, you want to rematch? Okay. Bam, bam, bam. All right, chat. We're gonna use the second best moves. So let's see if it works. I mean, to be fair, it's not like the best moves were much better. I wonder what the psychology is for chat making the second best move now as opposed to the best move. Because like. If you are someone playing, are you supposed to make the best move that you think is the best move? Or are you making the second best move because you think you're better than the rest of chat? Refresh for the board, everybody. We're entering a third game. Third game three, folks. Game three, everybody. All right, so far a very standard Dutch defense. No board pops up. Ask yourself these questions. One, do you have Truffle installed? The extension for browser. Two, are you on a desktop? Three, um, that was a weird fucking move chat. Three, um, is your browser updated? Four, what are you doing? What are you doing? Chat, what is this opening? I I'm thinking the second best move might, might not be so successful. Um, okay. Me. You, you guys actually have a brilliant move here. I'm curious if we can find it. Okay, I think your brilliant move is going back to the same square, but I think it's also not terrible. Um... Alright, well, I think I can make this move now. So I think the most popular move would be take, but what's the second most popular move? Maybe like, oh no, that is the second most. Okay. Oh, interesting. Alright, 
Oh, kind of aggressive, sons of bitches, don't you think? Kind of too aggressive, don't you think? I could take the pawn. Oh, what the fuck? Chat is cooking. Chat's cooking. Chat, they are cooking a lot. Chat is cooking a lot. Uh, I kind of want to take backwards with the knight. I think you guys are going to castle. Yeah. A sensical move. Let's see the defense to this attack. An interesting decision, to say the least. I feel better about taking that pawn now that the castling has happened. What the fuck? Holy shit. What a fucking move. Damn, you guys are fucking badass. That was a badass move, chat. All right, let's see it. What do you got? What do you got, boys? Ooh, okay. Looks like they're going for this pawn right here, if I had to guess. But if I know anything about anything... It's that a simple castle queenside should get me out of dodge. So they can grab the pawn, but I'm not worried about it. Okay, so this whole time I was threatening this, but I never took. But I was also threatening this I dude I could do this more often we should do this daily that was a big fuck up that was a huge fuck up that was a a almost checkmate level fuck up it's not a checkmate but you are about as close as you can get to one that was stupid <laughs> I don't say that a lot. That was dumb. Dumb move. Bad. Bad. Knight does block. Very fortunately for chat. Very fortunately indeed. Uh, but I have this. Attacking the queen. The queen has to leave this square. Queen cannot go to this square because it's already being defended. The queen could go to this square if it wasn't being defended by my bishop. Which means, checkmate. Damn, I'm fucking great at chess. This is like a great ego boost. I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I, I want you guys to imagine it from my perspective for a moment. Ew, forty nine percent. Oh, yikes. Oof. Oh. Oh, baby. So this was a huge mistake. Because you could probably make this move. This misses a great find. I assume the best move is this, right? Just keep it fucking simple. Oh, no, it's what? Oh, because you have to go here to defend this. Oh, true. You know what? I also fucked it up, chat. That was a tough one. What were you supposed to do here? Oh, that's kind of clever. Because then if takes... You can go here. Yeah, that's clever. 
I mean, you're fucked, but... Chat needs more time. All right, do we want to try going again, but this time we give you more time to play? Otto, let's do first moves again, but give him more time. All right, I can do that. I can do that. Like uh, I've been giving them like 10 seconds, but we might jump to 20 or so. Give them like 20 seconds to move. Because I think they are... They're, what, what they are is they're gung-ho. Yeah, they're like, this pawn move threatens the knight. Yeah, they're very like, like day one. And I think it'd yeah. be better if, if they had a little more time. So let's do that. But first, let's watch Cutie Cinderella. Hell yeah. yeah. She's crying because not Raya just nerfed her to the ground. That is why. <laughs> this is a replay, right, chat? She did great. She did well. I feel like she adds a humanness to LCS broadcast that is sometimes missing because of how long it's been happening. It can be like foreign to newcomers. Anyway, let's play. I'll give you guys 10 total minutes. All right, you ready, chat? Did it work? You gotta shoot me a challenge. Challenge. Ten minutes. All right, we are here to answer one question. Can Twitch chat truly defeat their streamer? Can you backseat your way to glory? I'm going to start with the Nimzo. A bit of a rare opening. It involves an early Bishop Fianchetto. You said to a chat, son of a bitch! All right, let's see the move. Let's see the move. Chat, you old wily dogs. Okay, a very closed defense. A very closed defense indeed. All right, I think I'm going to play... I, I've never played the Nimzo in my life. I just know it's a different opening, so I thought I'd try to get unique with you guys. I think my idea is to mirror kind of this this structure we have going on here. Maybe I'll get my, my bishop out too first before closing the position. And then I can close it, and then we have a pretty solid center that allows knights to kind of hop in defended and you'd have to like knight trade off it's kind of a, kind of interesting right like if i if i go knight knight but i just you have that more than i have that really but i guess i could oh, what the fuck did i not even defend that piece Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. All right, let's do this.
All right, I feel like my development is better than chat's, but chat has an early lead. Chat with an early lead. How do I know people aren't using an engine? To be clear, I think I expect people to be using an engine. Like, I'd be shocked if some people weren't. I hope they not, I aren't. But I think you guys got your asses handed to you so fucking bad that you kind of want to. Okay, let's think here. Let's think here. Let's really be methodic about our decision making. Our advantage is, is that we have five pieces out he has three pieces out and this bishop can't really go anywhere i mean you can just make it go here so you can get a quick castle which i feel like is what you guys are going to do because you don't have many other options right now but i don't think that's that scary i kind of expect a bishop e7 but maybe you do something more clever i don't know what it'd be what the frick? Chat, what the frick was even that? What the frick are you freaking doing? What the frick was that? Chat, actually, what the frick are you doing right now? That has to be a mistake. Wait, no. <gasps> Wait, I'm making a mistake. Wait, what the fuck? What the frick? What the frick is going on? All right, what do you say about that? I think, so check. Okay, you guys kind of owned yourselves right there, NGL. Okay, I'm up now. Wait, we have a dangerous situation though. A lot of pressure riding on this move. GG. The battery? The queen bishop battery. It's been there the whole time. I started with the Nimzo. The dark squared bishop Fien kettled. Like, what are you even thinking with a move like that? A castle? Why are you trying to hide when I have the coats to your doors? What the fuck, man? <sighs> uh, 
Um, yeah, I think I'm better than you. I think, uh, I mean, we can keep this going all day, Otto, but I don't, I don't think there's a way for them to beat me today. We might just need to hit the old, you guys might need to hit the books. I don't know, man. I mean, that, that last move there, it was, it was a full, full 70 more people voted for that than the second place. What was the second move? Uh, second move. I can pull it up. Man, they were actually uh, winning this move whole was, game. was pushing the pushing the F pawn forward one. Pushing the F pawn forward one, so F six. Yeah. Wow, that's it was a uh, three hundred thirteen to two hundred thirty one. I mean, it, there's there's some people that are good, and then the majority is dog uh, shit. That would have been the best move, chat, but you didn't do it. You did not do it. Oof. Man, I mean, maybe maybe bullet. I don't uh, know. You think the faster they play, the better they'd be. I feel like the faster you play, the worse you be. So the bet is that their skill won't increase or decrease much, but mine will decrease substantially because I'm a worse bullet player than I am rapid. That's the thought, yeah. How fa uh how 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 fast for the rapid? Um I don't know. We all the moves like generally the most the the most voted move is the one that comes in within the first couple seconds. So all right, how about this? How about this? How about, uh, well, let's do a five-minute game, and I will let my clock count down. Okay, okay. We can do a little time advantage. Yeah. I'll give you guys two, five minutes of my two. One minute's not enough. All right, so I'm going to play the Scandinavian defense. You guys are probably going to capture, but I'm not going to do shit for a while. Yep, capturing is up by about 50, 80 votes. So I'm just going to chill. We're just going to chill. Well, actually, no, I guess there's no reason to chill. If it gets below three minutes, I lose. As opposed to just stalling for three minutes. Yeah, because it's going to make me a board. Okay, so Chad, if my clock gets below three minutes, I lose. Because it actually just set a board, too. All right, I have to focus here. Going with the classic early knight. I'm expecting a knight f3, if anything, from chat. I'm going to respond with a knight f6. I guess you guys could do a sneaky thing if I'm playing quickly and, like, just throw away, you know, moves. So I kind of have to be somewhat wary. I expect your next move to be maybe d4. I think in response to d4, I'll do a6. That blocks the bishop from coming to the b5 square. I expect now bishop c4 from you guys. We have run through this position before. Eric Rosen's in jet? Eric Rosen suggests b e3, or excuse me, wait, e3, uh, no, d3? Chat, you might want to check out what Eric Rosen's doing here. I think that guy knows a little bit more. <laughs> Is Eric Rosen, a GM in chat, strong enough to overcome the stupidity of everyone who normally watches me? That's the question. And my bet? Fuck no. Chat, your move again? You guys got to move a little quicker. He's an IM. Well, then he's fucked. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you want? He's a GM in my heart. <laughs> he is the Messiah. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Okay, I'm expecting something like that. That wouldn't work though usually what they want to do though all right let's play this move let's protect this piece maybe this coming maybe this coming okay kind of expected let's just castle I feel no pressure
I guess they could make kind of a clever move here, though. They could have gone here, maybe? That's scary. Eric is saying A4. Wow, he just wants an immediate pawn rush. I think he has high hopes for the rest of the squad. Oh, fuck. They're going for this piece. All right, let me save my rook here. Because I think he's going for a... They're going for a fork on the rook. And then... Oh, fuck. I didn't see the fork on the fucking queen and the rook. All right, I'm going to back up one. That's so fucking stupid of me. I didn't even... I... <laughs> so fucking stupid you fell for it twice two time it's the same bait i did the same thing you, you, dude it's like it, oh my god it's it's like it's like hanging a banana on like, on like a fishing pole in front of a monkey you guys are just like hoo, hoo. GG boys. GG fellas. I can't believe it worked twice. I, I honestly I felt bad going for it. I honestly felt bad. I, I cuz I already did this. I already got this mate. I felt bad. I was like I shouldn't do it twice. I shouldn't do it twice. But I did it twice. I did it twice and it worked. Oh, feels good. It feels good to win. It feels good it to be does. the better player. It does. Well, I mean, Otto, for now, I think it's pretty fucking clear. I it's am pretty cut and dry, yeah. Way better than the collective of chat in chess. So you guys are not allowed to backseat me for the next month. That's the deal. All right? And then we're going to do a rematch. We'll maybe figure out some rules that will make it a little more balanced. You know, a little more fair. But for now, no backseating. 1v1 Eric? Okay, this isn't Game of Thrones. You don't get to, like, pick a champion <laughs> to fight me, and then I'll fight them in a 1v1 to the death. That's not how it works, yet. Someone just said they'll slip me 50 for stockfish. I mean... Damn, that's it? Only 50? Um. All right, well, you... Auto will brain will brain work will brain shop some ways to make it more balanced. But for now, I'll take the dub and I'll move on. But thanks for making this, and uh, I'm down to do it again sometime. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. All right, GG's gamer. Peace. That was fun. He is right. That was fun. I'm not gonna one v one Eric. I'm not gonna one. Not because I'm scared. By the way, I just I think it would be really irreparably bad to Eric's reputation. If he were to lose to me. And right now I'm hot. If I wasn't playing hot right now. I'd be like sign me up. Because I would lose. It'd be great for him. But I'm playing so hot right now. It's like he doesn't want the smoke. Like chat, 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 chat. You, you, like honestly. Honestly. Watch me play a random person. Right? Just watch me play. I'm going to play a random person. I have no idea who this human is. They're a 926 rated player. They're playing the Sicilian defense. Which I reply with the Alapin. Like watch me play. Watch me. Look at Eric in chat. Eric just said in chat, yeah, I'm not playing Ludwig when he's this hot. I mean, like, come on. You're not going to play Ludwig when he's this hot. It's like, it's so straightforward. All right. All right. All right. This makes the, the dark squared bishop very strong. Very strong. I'll take. 100% I'll take. Are you kidding me? No castle for you? What the fuck are you doing? What in the Sam hell is this? What is going... Oh, is this fast development? Look at this fast development Andy. Look at this guy go. This guy's crazy. This guy's nuts. I've never seen any development this fast in my life. Son of a bitch. 
Look at him go. He's crazy. So if I go for this, it's kind of bait because maybe he can go. Okay, yeah, this is. So I think if I go here, it's bait. Because then he takes with check. And if my queen captures, then I lose the pawn here. So I have to be kind of intelligent or something. How the fuck do I defend this shit? Wait, wait. Am I being dumb? Can't I do this? If I check, then I can capture the queen. And then I'm, I'm, no, I'm no longer worried about the threat. And you know what? While I'm at it, fuck it. Fuck it, dude. I'll make him go backwards. Like I give a shit. Like I give a shit. This guy thinks I care? Fuck no, man. Dark square bishop still terrifying. Castle, castle? My prediction? Okay. Maybe a classy rook e8, rook e1 situation? Oh. Okay, maybe this is to fuck up my structure here. Because it would. It'd be kind of annoying, Teebs. I really don't want him to do that. I'd be kind of peeved if he did that. So let me just trade. I don't mind as... Okay, let me get a, a guy to defend this. I don't mind if he takes here. I don't mind three isolated pawns. Is this technically a pass pawn? Wouldn't it be a pass pawn? Love you, Lud, but your hair is comically long on top. It's not comic. It's just long. It's not comic. It's like a normal size long. It's like a cool size long in a way. It's like a, it's like a swag size long. If he goes here, I'll... Ooh, 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 baby. Uh, let's... Let us... Let us... Fucking let us. Let us breathe for a moment. Bit confused. I'm fucking confused. Have I mentioned my confusion? I could play this move. Then he probably captures. Then I capture. Then he captures. So that doesn't sound great for me. So how do I prevent that? Maybe I go... Knight up here. Attacking this knight. Defended. Oh, no! Wait, no, no, because he can't capture because captures. He could capture, but pawn captures is bad for him. Right? Yeah, we're fine. This is smart, right? This is clever. Uh, we can do this with check. Oh, you fucker! You move backwards since when, you son of a bitch? Okay, we're going to open up. Okay, oof, we're entering an endgame early. Probably go down one here. Oh, interesting. 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 Almost interesting in a way. All right, let's go. Let's go here. Whoa. That was cringe of you. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. You're being cringe. Uh, let's go here. Check. Okay, pawn up. Pawn, bring, bring that pawn ip. A little scared about, about like a this move, so I moved him here. Okay, yeah, we'll make a little chain now. We'll make a chain. Ooh, now you're stupid. Now you look stupid and dumb. Oh, you're so, you're so, you're sweating in your little boots. Look at you sweating in your, oh, what the hell? He wants to go for this? You want to go for that, huh? Uh, what do you think about these apples? Not super concerned about a check. I'll just go here. Oh, now you're going for a check mate. That would be scary. That'd be scary. That'd be scary is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I will... I will... Mm, shit. I'll go here. If checks, king escapes. This is fine. Yep. Not even worried about it. Maybe he stacks? Do doesn't worry. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me at all. I literally am not even bothered at all. Um, okay. One ugly thing, though, is that this rook was supposed to go here, but now it can't, which is kind of cringe. Uh, let's go here, maybe? Okay. This is good. This is good for me. 
Whoa, whoa. Let's go check. Can't go to this file. He has to come over here or here. What? What? It wasn't that bad. I'm not a fucking GM. It was like a one pawn conversion. You're being a fucking freak. It wasn't that big of a deal. Was dinner ready? That was crazy. What a crazy little dastardly devil. What a crazy little dastardly dirty little devil. Oh, uh, replenish? You're going to lose a pawn after all the trades are up. I did do that. Spot on, I did do that. Thing about my rook endgame, though, is it's fire. He would have just gone here, and then I would have checked, and then probably grabbed the pawn. Oh, there's mate in one. Ooh, here maybe? Oh, that would have been clever. Wow, that would have been clever as shit. Wait, yeah, that would have been a great move, because that's 100% what I was doing. Oh, this guy's weird. This guy was a weird. You should have gone D8. I'll tell you what, I would not have thought of it. If he went here, no shot I would have gone this move. I don't even understand, like, the goal behind this move. Check. Oh, because maybe I... I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'll never get it. He loses two pawns. I mean, pff, I don't know if I would have found it, but I'll take it. I'll take the dub. Pursuit of dubs secured. I'm not going to play Eric. I'm not going to play Eric. Don't say now play Eric like like we like we've been waiting for it. Like we've been waiting and I'm just letting you guys stew for a bit. We're not playing. It's not in the cards. It's just not in the cards, chat. It's not even something I'm like consider. It's not even something like it's on the agenda. Trust me, trust me. Here's the thing, chat. You you don't know about this. I've played Eric. Have you beat your own bot? Do you really think I would lose to an inferior version of myself? All right. This is not chat GPT versus like American school teachers. All right. I know how to win this goddamn fight. If you don't know, chess.com has a lot of bots on it. Some are very popular like mittens, which was trending for a while. But then there's also a lot of other bots, including streamers. And I am one of the streamer bots right here. Let's try no help of any kind, to beat myself. I'm not really worried about it. I think I crush myself. E4 is the only good move, right? Hold up. If I move it down, yeah, it has like little captions. E4 is the only good move, right? That's right, Ludwig. All right, let's play a good old scotch game. Uh-huh. What are you going to do? Classic Ludwig. Classic Ludwig. He's going to take... What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm going to push the pawn. I didn't know you could do that.
What the frick? <laughs> hold up, Ludwig's crazy right now, man. Hold up, 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 hold up. So I have this, which is a check, but it's defended, so there's no big deal there. This guy's attacked. What if I go back here and then move up? Yo, you fucker! Oh, no! Stop! Wait. <laughs> G fucking G, baby. What? Does he have like something going on here? Did I miss something? He says, it's cool. I'm throwing for content. Is he? I'm kind of scared. Wait. This is a checkmate. No, it's not. Is it? Dude, I... Uh, what? Oh my god, this son of a bitch. He's good. He's almost too good. How the frick do I win? Oh shit! Oh my god, I almost threw. Oh my god, I almost threw.
How the fuck do I stop him? Get away from my fucking pond. There we go. Alright, how the fuck do I do this? How do I do this? Check. 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 Fuck. Fuck. Shit, my fucking small fucking brain. Okay, he can go back here. Check. What did I do wrong? Clearly, I need more, more coaching for my WGM friend, Cutie Cinderella. Okay. Son of a bitch, I've boomed you again. Let's check a game review real quick. Let's check a game review. I feel like he fucked up, right? Like, I feel like he was kind of crushing. Yeah. He was winning for all of this right here. Because I made this mistake with his bishop move. To which he super capitalized, and I didn't even notice this attack. And then I blundered. And then he just kind of threw his queen out there. And then I blundered back. And then I double blundered. And then he blundered. And then he omega blundered. And then I omega blundered. And then he omega blundered. Okay, yeah, it turns out that Ludwig is pretty shit at chess. Play Mittens. Isn't Mittens, like, really good? I've never played the Mittens bot. I've heard the legends, the lore, the allure, the terrifying reality that is Mittens bot. How the hell do you play it again? Play computer. Mittens. Uh, okay, I'll play. Give me, give me three hints and three takebacks. Just in case I need them. I doubt I'll need them, but. Uh, all right. I'm going to start with a classic Alapin defense to the Sicilian or the Alapin variation of the Sicilian. Ooh, what the frick do I do about that? What? I'm not used to this move. Wait, what the hell? Surely I just push. Surely I just push. Okay. Then I do this. All right. This is all book. This is all book. <laughs> this is all book right here. All book all the way down. Uh, then we'll get, we'll get, you know what we'll do? We will get this guy active. Book move. We are playing book moves only. Book, 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 book. Uh, I could go for a check. I don't love it, though. I don't love the check. Let's go right here. Oh, it's the best move. Um, maybe I make this move. You know what? There's no rush. There's no rush to take back this piece. Let's see, let's see. Do I take it back? <gasps> it was the best move. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good. Very good. Uh, let's play this knight move now. Bishop d3 was best. Okay, that's a sweaty move for nerds, so don't care. Didn't ask. Um, let, let me, allow me, allow me, allow me to cook RQ. Fellas, I do think it is time. 
That was a fucking mistake, my fucking ass. <gasps> Son of a bitch. Okay, that's fine. I don't even give a shit at all. Okay, if I go here... Wait, check this out. Genius move. I'm going to go here. Right? Check. Oh my god, I did not see that the knight was defended. Back it up. Back it up. No, no, no. Hold up. Hold up. Reverse. 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 Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Sorry, we just had to... Oof. That, we got a little out of hand there. Sometimes we, get, we like to get a little crazy around these parts. We're going to make that move right right -o. Cheerio. 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 And I will castle. I will castle. Uh, and I'm thinking knight d4 is a good alternative here. What the fuck? Wait, did he just sack? What, what's going on? Did he just win a pawn off that? What the fuck? That was fucking gross. What a disgusting move. I'm gagging. Stack the rooks. Let's let's get this guy out of dodge. Cuz he's let's do this. This defends here. Oh fuck. This guy's doing the most. He's doing the most right now. Uh, let's go here. We have a knight outpost with a check. Okay, we have a pushed pawn, a passed pawn. This is great for me, right? I think. Isn't that good? A passed pawn? That's good, right? Fuck. Um, give me a hint. Give me a hint. What do I do? It's calculating the hint? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking bishop a5. Wait, it's not even the best move? Wait, they actually just gave me a hint and it's not the best move. What the fuck is that about? What is that about? Oh my god, this is so cringe. Th this is so cringe! <laughs> okay. All right, dude. All right, man. You're cringe, man. Oh, wait. <gasps> what if? What do I got to do to make you love me? What do I got to do to make you care? What can I say when it's all over? What the fuck, idiot? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Ta ah, fuck! You never capture the right fucking piece, you asshole.
It's sad, so sad. It's a sad, sad situation. Uh, I think we're screwed, Chet. There's not many ways to... To put it, we are disgustingly screwed. Dude, you're, you're, you're so cringe. 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 You're fucking kidding me. Wait, no, he's going to checkmate me. No, he's going to checkmate me. Shit, he's going to checkmate me. Ha-ha! This is so insanely stressful. Wait! No, fuck. Wait, how do I, how do I, how do I, how do I get a perpetual? Hold up, hold up. If I go... Wait, wait, wait. I might have a perpetual. If I go here... You don't? Okay, let's back it up one then. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Screw it. I hate it. I hate it. It's a shit game. Shit. 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 Fuck it. Shit. God damn it. I don't like playing that cat. I like playing against Ludwig Bot because Ludwig Bot throws when you're not doing well. Chat, if you guys didn't see, by the way, I tweeted this out the other day. Chat, I'm in a video game. I'm in a video game. Whoa, wow, wow, wee, wow. Uh, and I'm also a an advisor on the video game. It's basically, so you know how we used to back in the day on Twitch, if you're an old frog, you used to play a lot of marbles, and then I stopped doing marbles, mar mar marbles in its entirety, because marbles was exclusively for, um, Twitch. Uh, there's a company called Captain TV that made a similar, like, marbles game that works with YouTube, which I think is pretty fucking hype. Uh, because I've been wanting to do it for a while. It's called Nitro Stream Racing. It's not called Marbles anymore, chat. I like marbles, but they never ever adapted ever to support me in my endeavors on YouTube. Uh, and so I think this will be hype. This is like basically I think how we'll do giveaways in the future. Uh, whether it's playing games against people or what have you. Uh, yeah, Northern Lion also played it a bunch if you guys watch NL. Which if you don't, I mean, what are you guys even doing? I believe who else? Some other people. Uh, 
Uh, anyway, I want to show you guys the game. Get you guys uh, equated with it. Equated? Antiquated? Equated with it? Chat, don't type exclamation point play for a second. Just pause. Just pause, champ. Just smiley face and pause, champ. Oh, I also got this PS5 controller. I don't know if I'm allowed to leak this, but look at the fucking case they sent this shit in. Isn't this shit fucking... Look at this heavy duty ass. It's like a shell. Acquainted. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Not antiquated, it's equated. Acquainted. I don't think antiquated does work, I'll be honest. I think I'm wrong. I'm down to admit when I'm wrong. That's the thing about me, chat, is I'm humble. Humble in victory, modest in defeat. My brother in Christ, please bring back marbles. That's what this is. This is bringing back marbles. I can't just lie around and hope that marbles starts to notice m me as a YouTube streamer smiley face. Enter Nitro Racing. Hold up. I'll get it pulled up in a second here. It's basically marbles with cars. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm actually in the game. Hold up. Let me download this guy. All right. Check this out. This me. This is also me. They modeled my car after the car's bed. Which I think is kind of hype. Honestly, they did such a, like, um, a service to my hair. I think my hair looks better in game than it does in real life. I need to get a haircut in real life. I'm kind of waiting to get a haircut. I, I don't know if anybody else does this. I have a degenerate way of getting haircuts. I either go to Super Clips, which is, you know, degen because of Super Clips. Or uh, what I do is I travel to a new place and then I get a haircut at that new place. So, like, I'm going to Japan and I kind of want to get my haircut in Japan. Go to sports clips. That's what I mean when I say super clips. They're all the same to me. All right, let's see. Does this work? Hold up. Wait, son of a bitch, I'm in. This is the alpha build of the game. All right, hold up, hold up. Let me just try the pit because it looks like the thing from uh, Cars. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, oh my God, oh, my God. People are filling in. People are filling in. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. All right, hold up. People are rushing in. I think it's exclamation point play. All right, let me let me get let me get two laps in there. Uh, mods, can you remove the timeout for exclamation point play so that people can actually play? <laughs> LMAO. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, my God. That's a lot of you guys. That is a lot of you guys. I'm assuming you guys aren't driving here, right? Because if so, you should be embarrassed. Oh, there's a manual cam?
All right, let's see how good I am at guiding it. All right, we got Maddie and Dill Pickle in first. A second from King Meme. Yeah, I think this is kind of just like a fun marbles. Hold up, let me... Adjust the volume. Oh, I can literally pause it. Oh, that's great. Okay, let me drop the music volume all the way. And let me play some epic music. From my favorite racing game ever. Okay, we have Mergen Taro in first, who just completed lap one. Jesus, there's so many people. This is so chaotic with this many people. There are so many people. Why does it auto switch on me? There is a lot of car carnage, and then there's just Mergen Taro idly driving by every fucking person without a single care in the universe. How are you doing this? Oh, you're not. Never mind. New first place. Hold up. I'm blocking the first place. So I believe, chat, if you play and you win a lobby right now, you automatically get the Ludwig car skin and skin skin. Or at least the Ludwig car skin. I think you get the car. Winning has used lightning. What the fuck is lightning? Who used lightning? How did you figure out how to use lightning? Chat's our first playthrough. What does lightning do? Oh, I should get a haircut from Natsuki. It's not a bad idea. Mason used lightning? All right, there we go. W for Maddie. <laughs> Uh, look at that. And then, I so, I think if you guys go to game.playnitro.com, you can use the gold you win in-game to, like, buff your car. And then there's basically multiple game modes that are planned. So, some game modes are like, chat, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and fuck off for a bit. Let's have you play the video game. And those ones, if you have more gold, your car will be better. There will be actual exclamation point boost. Congratulations, Maddie and chat. Uh, and then there will be more modes that's like, oh, let's just do pure lottery. Let's just do like a pure absolute lottery because I want to award people uh, arbitrarily. Like I don't want to award it based off who's played the most. And then that one won't matter. Uh, you can't sign in with Google yet on that website. Okay, so for now, you can't uh, actually take anything. Son of a bitch. This is, this is what we get for being on YouTube. But, you know, hey, long term, long term, we'll get there. Long term, we'll get there. Uh, give me, give me, give me rush hour race. Give me rush hour race. Give me one lap. And let me confirm. All right, chat. Everybody do exclamation point play. I want to max out how many players we can have. I want to max out how many players until the lobby crashes and then they yell at me because I've broken their game. And if you win today, chat, you will get this car. Which is kind of swag because it's based off the car's bed that I slept in during the subathon. Exclamation point play, boys, as we hop in. Join up, fellas. Join up. Come on. Don't be shy now. Join up, everybody. Join up. Everybody get in. Exclamation point play. All you have to do is type it in chat. I want at least 1,000 players. I don't even know if it can hold 1,000 people. This is literally my second time. I've never played this because I, I can only play it with you guys. So it's my second time ever. So let's 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 see how badly we can break this if we can't even break it. 
200 more. 200 more. Would you ever do a Mogul Moves D&D &D one shot? Uh, maybe. Thank you for becoming a member. You do not need to be a member for this, but I appreciate it, Robin. All right, 50 more people. 50 more people. All right, that's 1,000. Ready? This is the lottery mode, so I think there's no changing of the car. One lap to rule them all. Winner gets the Ludwig car. Let's let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just give it a let's just give it a whirl. Okay, I have a theory. I have a theory. I have a theory. That's not a that's not a thousand people. Right? Am I crazy? What the f Fuck, did that bus just murder a fucking, what is, what is that? What was that bus? So I'm pretty sure the way the game works is that it picks 250 people out of the 1,000 people or however many in a lottery format and then 250 get to drive, which makes sense because otherwise we would probably cap out the game servers and blow them up. Adam Klopatowski, first of all, congrats on your Polish heritage. Second of all, congrats on losing, all right? You're putting on a great French impersonation for a poll. Dark Lord Zeref currently in first place. A Ludwig race car on the line. Big speed boost from Dark Lord Zeref. Runs right into the second speed boost. Goes around the curve here. Misses the item just narrowly. Second place, not too far behind. It's Diego, but we are about to see... The end of this race. I only did one. Oh, no, yo, you fucked up. Okay, but you tripped into the finish line. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, you literally tripped into the finish line. I don't feel like you deserve that. You, like, somehow fucked up and won, but congratulations to Dark Lord Zeref. You will be getting the car. All right, let's do two laps. Let's do two laps on Cloud Chase. Two laps on Cloud Chase. I'm going to pee, exclamation point play. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, my God. 1,400 people. Okay, just so you guys know, only 250 actually get in. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do a classic. You know what? The, ga the game is actually... So, like, usually in marbles, I would do, like, epic songs that are, like, three minutes long. But for this one, why not? Why not get fucking crazy and throw a little coconut mall? All right, all right, all right. 250 racers on the cloud track. First place does get the exclusive Ludwig skin. Everybody's hankering for it. Why is everyone exploding? 
Oh, there's a giant... Okay, no, I get it now. Obese duck? What is going on in this map? What the fuck are you... What the... What? Where are you going? Where are you? This can't be... Oh, you died. Oh, you respawn. Okay, that's good. At least you respawn in this game. How are you still second? Okay, getting sucked up is apparently, like, the worst case scenario. <laughs> Dude, everywhere I go, you guys are getting sucked. Alright, let's check out Ally. Okay, hold up a little laggy on the solo. Alright, come on, Ally. Keep it rolling. Okay, you got sucked up. Fair enough. Tiffany Fang currently in first. Alright, what do you got, Tiffany? Wait, somebody won? Oh, Tiffany won. All right, that was a finish line. Okay. <laughs> All right, that map? That map's tough. I won't lie, that map's tough. I literally finished in 248th place. I mean, get fucked, because that... Look, I mean, if it makes you feel better, two people did worse than you. Two people did worse than you. So, you know, you're not the worst. You are just... I and Stip. You are, you know... Is the sad machine... Is D Dawson, is that you? Is that you? Are you playing secretly? Are you secretly playing and also the worst to ever do it? All right, let's get let's get a simple map. Let's get a simple map. Let's do Dino Desert. I want to I want to touch all the maps. We're going to play all the maps once today and then we're going to try it again maybe on like Sunday and then give something away. Maybe I'll give Pokemon cards away to whoever wins. on. I, I, maybe tomorrow, actually. Maybe we'll play a few games tomorrow on whoever wins. I think I can just start it right now. I got so many Pokemon cards, like I'm dying to give these guys away. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Toad's Factory. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. What a fitting song. I mean, I guess it's literally from Mario Kart, so I can't... Wait, this one's Ludwig. Hold up, I want to follow Ludwig. Go, Ludwig! Yeah! Come on, baby! Woo! Yeah, Air Coots! Yes, sir! Yes... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck me. All right, come on, Air Coots. Ludwig in the... I'm gonna... Oh, sh okay. All right. Jesus Christ. Zero class, guys. Zero class. Hold up. I'm not even moving. Okay. How are you this far in first? How are you getting exploded? Oh look, this is the lightning. Yo, I've never seen the lightning effect before. All right, we got rainfall in second place right now. Still on our first lap. This is our first place rider, Fun Purple Games. It looks like they're getting laser beamed right now. They did get hit. Rainfall with a bit of a comeback. Look at Rainfall go, actually. Kind of cruise. Did you customize your car? Your car? Unlucky Rainfall gets hit by lightning. Fun Purple Games falls into a couple of bananas. Back to back nanners. Fun Purple now in second. Rainfall with the custom red car. No decal yet. What the fuck was that? What a war between these two. All right, Fun Purple Game in first. What what are those? Okay, dinosaurs have entered the track. Actually, that might have been a speed boost. Weirdly enough, I feel like that was a speed boost. They are on lap two right now. And there's a pretty huge lead between first and second. So we'll see. 
Fun purple game needs to run into some bananas. Or what the heck? What did you do? You went off the map. Are you throwing for content? Are you going to... What? Were those the birds from the Akutsuki from Naruto? The clay pigeons? All right. Flames McGay. <laughs> what happened to the rain guy? Oh, rain's in third now. All right. Flames McGay. The newest racer to enter the top three. A fan favorite. Oh, but a big fucking crash. It's fun purple gnome in first. Rainfall. A familiar face. Closely behind in second. Oh, everybody exploded. This this part seems hard. This part seems almost impossible because of these laser beams. How did fun purple gnome dodge the lasers? Oh, they didn't. They didn't. Okay, wait. Rainfall could win here. Rainfall could win if they cross the traffic road. GG. Rainfall wins. Man, I feel bad for Fun Purple Gnome. I won't lie. Fun Purple Gnome probably should have won that. They probably should have won that. They were in first the entire time. Bit of a throw. Bit of a, how you say, chokeski, labrokeski, but it happens. It happens. Top speed was Hutch Pup 500 kilometers. How did you do that? Matt, how did you hit 40 bananas? What place did Matt get? Bro, how did you do that? You must be, like, dead last. You got... Okay, what's more embarrassing, getting hit by 40 bananas or getting hit by 40 bananas and then still beating 11 people? Mixed berries got fifth to last and went 226 feet in the air. That's impressive. I'll give you. How did our man... Flames McGay do. Fifth place. Not bad, Flames. Not bad, Flames. Flamio. I'm cringing. Okay, hurtful. All right, we got one final map chat. We're going to try Destruction Desert. Let's do three laps for this one. I feel like the only issue I have with this game right now, and maybe call me out if I'm wrong on this, but it feels like if you're in top three, it doesn't shake up much. Well, like, I, no, that's a lie. The top 10 shakes up, but, like, if you're outside the top 10, there's no way you're coming back. It's like, GG. GG, put the controller down. There's no way you're coming back. Top 10, there's a little bit of play in there. There's a little bit of drama, a little bit of juice. But I feel like it's almost like where you spawn is what matters. Because, like, you guys will see it right here. You guys will see because there's going to be 250 people. And the way they spawn people, it's like, trick, 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 trick. All right, two, one, begin. What the hell am I looking at? Oh, look at this beautiful cam. Oh, look at this camera work. I'm tired. Please help me. All right, let's let's do a little test this round. Let's do a little test this round. What the fuck? So our top three is Judy, Average Blitz, and Bellathor. Let's see if those three names are in the top 10 at the end of it all. There's three laps, so I feel like there's more uh, variants that can happen. Although, Judy right now and Average Blitz are fucking electric. Never mind, Judy choked. This You are lapping people. Average Blitz literally lapped someone. Many people. You're cra- Judy's back! The website I don't think works right now for YouTube Andes, but it's in alpha. So like this is more so just this is more so just giving a lot of information to the devs that play the game on like what they do to the game. But don't read anything deeply. All right. We're basically playing for oh, who is this guy? The 37th agent. We're basically playing for fun to find out um, how to improve it and then also give people who win skins. The 37th agent's nasty. Wait, you're about to win. Oh, uh, kind of a throw. Oh, wait. They're on the third lap, so literally all they need to do is finish the second half of this loop and they win a free skin. But I feel like they're kind of throwing right now. 
I mean, they're kind of getting targeted, to be honest. They're getting super targeted. Look at all the, how, are you? Can you guys specifically target people? Hold up. The finish line's right there, though. GG? GG? GG. Man, they tried their best to throw. Uh, chat, what were the three names that I said we should look out for? It was like Judy. What was it? Judy something something. <laughs> Judy and Blitz, right? Okay, let's see how they finished. Oh, it was Judy, Blitz, and Bellathor. Bellathor got 18th. Wait, where the hell is Judy? Judy got 30th. And then Blitz got 24th. Okay, it's actually not as bad as I thought. It does have a good amount of variance. Because they went from 1st to 30th. I guess you're more so just like... Uh, it's kind of like Mario Kart. You know how if you play Mario Kart, there's like a section of the map that if you get stuck in, you just get fucked. Like, they call it like... Um, it's like Red Shell Hell. Because like if you're in the first two and you're all the way in the front... Nobody can use their items on you. Nobody can touch you and hit your car. Nobody fucks with you. You just get to race and play your game. But if you're in the middle of the pack, you just get screwed over. And so the goal of Mario Kart is to never let anybody get too far ahead. That way you always have a chance of winning. Because if they do like break away, there's no catching up. There's no rubber banding. Uh, let's play some more. Literally, how does this work? It's, it could not be easier. You type exclamation point play. And then you play automatically. It, it's like it's like that easy. Hold up, let me tell people on Instagram.com to come watch me. And chat, if you don't know, right now if you get first, because again, this is an alpha. So if you get first, you get this car skin. Very exclusive alpha only car skin. And what you can do with the car skin is you can, what you can do is you can combine it with another car and then that will create like a hybrid car and then that hybrid car will accrue gas miles and then you can burn the gas and then you get tokens back to buy new cars later on. It's actually a really fun game and it can make you money. So... Kind of a win-win. <laughs> this always reminds me of that one video I made. One minute of content streamed is one minute of content created. Okay, this is what I talk about when I feel like you're screwed if you're in the back. Because look at this. Look at this, dude. If you're this dude right here, let's like like let's follow him. If you are if you are if you are Grunk. Is there a way to follow Grunk? Yeah, let's follow Grunk. Grunk started in as bad of a position as you can get. So I am team Grunk. We are rooting for Grunk. I am exclamation point boosting Grunk. And we're going to see if it's possible to make a comeback. I feel like he's just stuck in absolute hell though. Grunk is currently... How do you see what position they're in? Is it possible to see it? How do I know... Chad, do you see it on the screen? I don't see it, right? Oh, shit. I clicked away. All right. Let's take a look at Michael Wen. That's how you say it, right? Michael Nguyen? Is it Nguyen? Is it just Wen? It's Michael Wen, right? It says on the left. I thought it just said top three. Oh, wait. It was there at the bottom. Oh, you're right. It was. It just had the little glasses on. 
It's pronounced win, not when. Michael Wynn. Hate it when that happens. Is that how you remember? <laughs> what a specific thing. All right, let's uh, hold up, hold up. If I do this, so let's click on this car right here. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I can see Kalen Allen is in 205th position. Come on, Kalen, top 200. You got it, Kalen. We all believe in you at home. Root. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. All right. That's okay. That's okay, Kalen. All right. Oh, fuck. Son of a bitch. All right. Okay, you got... Oh, Jesus Christ. The Sarlacc pit sucked you up. Okay. That is... Oof, that is tough. All right. All right. Almost top 200, though. Not bad. It's not bad. That's not even bad. Can you can control your car? I think eventually there's a mode that will be created that you can do things to, to like, affect the speed of your car. A.K.A. like the exclamation point boosts of the world. But I think this is like a pure lotto mode and it's just RNG who wins. This one's the most like marbles. Hold up, that is the loudest car noise. Okay, Jesus Christ. Ardham, Ar Arham has, Ar Arham has Twitch. Adam G. We have no free will. Yeah, but you also have the potential to win dubs without doing any work. So, I mean, think about the trade-off here. Chat, how do you use items? Do they automatically work? Are you guys specific? Like, Michael Wynn, can you use your item right now? Oh, it's on the website? Wait, I thought the website didn't work, chat. I thought the website didn't work. Does it work? You guys are telling me it doesn't work. The website does work. You just have to log in with Twitch. Wait, so if you log in with Twitch, it works for your YouTube car? Oh, that's kind of hype. What the hell, Adam? What, Adam? What happened? No, just log in with YouTube. Huh? Oh, it only uses your Twitch account? Okay, so you get one account that has access across YouTube and Twitch is what I'm is what I'm hearing. That's what the higher ups been saying. All right, so Chad, if you want to use your items, you have to go to the website. Hold up, I'll fi I'll figure out the website link right after this race. Damn, you choked, Adam. You were right at the finish line. How do I get the map again? One, two, three, four. Game.playnitro.com. So if you go to game.playnitro.com, you can actually use your items, which is interesting. And then you have to click a button to shoot the items. Or, chat, if you want to use your items in chat, you have to type exclamation point mega. Exclamation point boost is a meme. Exclamation point play and exclamation point mega are real. Real and true and not fake and not a meme. Dip, have I not gotten any points? Have I not entered? Hold up, let me enter. Wait, I want to enter. Oh, maybe I'm just not winning the lottery. Wait, no, I definitely am. Play. Ludwig wants to play. Oh, I auto-enter. The streamer coins are just bugged. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Let's see it. Dude, why am I starting all the way back there? I'm the streamer! 
Okay, the bus didn't at least murder me. I'm currently in 210th place. Come on, dude. If this was a skill-based game, I'd be in first right now. Let's go, Ludwig! Wait, wait, wait. We went from 220 to 120. Wait, we can win this. What is this? What? There's literally a tornado. What is this? Wait, why am I... Wait, why, why is a tornado actually carrying me through the map? Wait, where are you going? There's no... Just a tornado. What is this, Hyrule in, in Smash 64? All right, come on, Ludwig. Let's go, Ludwig. Let's go, baby. All right, what are you doing? What's going on? What's going on? Come on. Come on, Ludwig. Dude, I, you guys aren't even fun to play with. <laughs> you guys aren't even fun to play with. All right, jump the gap. Actually skillful. You, dude, you're literally cringe, Nutman. Nutman, you're cringe. Come on. All right, what position am I in? We're 122. All right, I feel like we could feasibly get top 100. Remember, exclamation point, mega to use your item. And you'll know if you have an item if you're on the website. Nitro, wait, play dot, what is it? Playnitro.com. Dude, uh, this is so dumb. What the hell happened to you? How are you still in first after that? What? How are you still in first? How come that happens to me and I get dead last? Are you going to win after that? Okay. I wonder if Zaikiki got the record for most height. Because my man's kind of flu. The farthest launch was Lauren. All right, fair. All right, what did I get? What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Come on. Come on. Top 100. Top 100. Surely. Surely top 100. Are you kidding me? Nutman got 64th? What a fucking ripoff of a race. Okay, wh dude, why is your name Saggy Fat Cox? Like, I have to read it. Why you do me like that? I probably got a hundred on the dot. <gasps> oh, I didn't even get top half. That's so cringe. That is so cringe. Okay, I don't like Cloud Chase. I think my favorite map might be Destruction Deserts, the figure eight. It's a bit simple. You know what I wish they had? I think it'd be a cool feature. Chat, what do you think? Is, is you can see the chat messages of the top 10. I don't know how feasible that is with YouTube, to be honest. I'm more so just speaking out loud. That way, if we do like a, like a Nitro race for like playing chess against me, I can like, you can type in your chess account or something. You know what I mean? Like I can, I, we can convey information with each other without having to like track you down. But it might be hard if you log in with Twitch. I don't know. Maybe you can type it on the website. I don't know. I'm thinking out loud. All right. Let's give it a run. Let's give it a run. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, are you serious? I'm, the, I'm literally last. 
That's so fucked, man. That's so fucked. <laughs> that is so... Like, look how long I have to wait. Look how many people have traveled and then look at m me. Go, Cooter. Go, Cooter. We are currently in 241st place. All right. If I get top 125, I'm pogging. How do you know if you got in? I think you probably find out if you're on PlayNitro.com, right? Chat, back me up. If you're not first, you're last. Look, I hear you, but I'm like... In my case, I'm literally last. Wait, actually not though. Hold up. Hold up. And I just got an item? Wait, hold up. I'm exclamation point mega-ing? Exclamation point mega. Hold up. Let me see if it works. Use your item, Ludwig. Use your item. Ludwig! Hold up. I got to go to the website. Son of a bitch. Log me in. Use your item! No, it doesn't work. I can't use my item. I don't get it yet. Use the mega on Twitch. I think I logged in with YouTube and you can't log into the site yet with YouTube because it's just an alpha and hasn't been configured yet. YouTube hasn't accepted it yet, I think. I think I have to join. Yeah. So you can go to the website and join the race from the website. And I think that's what most people are doing to use items. But you should also be able to do exclamation point mega in chat. It might just not work because I'm Mr. Streamer. Unsure. Uh, all right. I'm in 180th place. I don't think we need to watch me anymore. Let's watch Captain Morgan. Okay, they're dying. Let's watch probably Jean. Okay, they're dying. Let's watch Gog. Okay, they're cruising. Wait, Gog and no, at 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 most was at most was here. What is this? This is like the new version of marbles. Uh, but rather than marbles, it's like racing cars. And then it works with YouTube. Because marbles does not work with YouTube. We got ourselves a bit of a close race here. Especially if Atmos gets shot. I think if you cross this, you win, right? Yeah. I peaked at five, or excuse me, I peaked at seven. Now I'm 120. Dude, it's hard. All right, we're going to do one final race chat, then we're going to move on. I just kind of wanted to give it a tester today. We might play tomorrow. I got 221st. Let's do one more race. Let's do the figure eight map. Yeah, so this is what this so if you log in, this is what you see. And then you can you can hit join race here. And so now I'm playing with my stream car. And then I can also change my loadout on the website. And then you can also see the leaderboard, the store, redeem. So I think this is how most people are hopping in the game and using items. So I'm going to have two cars this time. Oh my god, did I just leak? Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, Ludwig, what did you just... Okay, actually, no, we're fine. Hi, 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 hi. Nothing was leaked. Smiley face.
Oh, I didn't get in. This is so cringe. All right, what position am I in? What position am I in on my streamer account? My streamer privilege account. Are you kidding me? Why am I always in the back? All right, let's go, Ludwig. Yeah, honestly, the biggest bet is whether you win or don't win the coin flip of getting into the race. All right, this is the last race for today, chat. I got 18th last run. Good enough for me. We're not first. You're last. It's actually not bad. Um. All right, sand last. Nothing leaked. You're good. Pog champ. Ooh, banger. Can we keep playing till I win? Aaron, I would, but I've seen you. You're one of the worst racers to ever do it. Dude, the lead is actually kind of phenomenal for sand last. Or sand lest. Sandiest? That's what it is. We'll do some more tomorrow, chat. Tomorrow we'll do some races, and I'll and uh, maybe I'll like the winners. I'll play chess against, or maybe I'll try to find your. I, I don't know. I'll do. I'll figure out something. Stream ends when I get first place, dude. That actually be kind of fun. If I did a stream until I got first, how long would that take? You think? Delilah overtakes first. I'd have to. Oh, that'd be that takes so long. There's a 1 in 250 chance that I win. Dude, that would take so long. And then every time I lose a race, I take a shot. And then by the end of it, I die. Damn, stuck the landing for a second there, Delilah. Top three have kind of pulled themselves away from the rest of the field. Law Lucky Man's kind of rolling right now. Kind of cruising in a way. About to pass Sandius. How did you dodge those cars? Ooh, bit, uh, bit awkward. All right, we got Delilah first. Sandius not far behind in second. Looking to overtake. Looks like they'll be close. No, Cigar. And now Law Lucky, man. Oh, god damn. Oh, Delilah's getting torn up, though. I actually think LA Lucky Man wins. Why some servers have 500? It's probably possible to buff a server to 500. I'll take a look. When we do it tomorrow, I'll take a look. I just wanted to give it a shot. I wanted to I wanted to get a little comfortable with it, you know? Uh, this is a Delilah gap. This is not even close. Sandy has dropped down to ninth. LA Lucky Man's far away. Get a new mic? What's wrong with my mic? <laughs> Wait, that's like one of the good things about my setup. What the heck? Damn, Sandius is in chat sagging. Sandius, look, you didn't choke. You're still top six. Look at you. Look at you go, bro. Look at you go, bro. You're not doing bad. You're not doing bad. Look at you, fifth. Look at you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, back to six. Oh, oh, oh. You got, oh. Oh, oh, seventh. Oh, it's going down here. Oh, no. You, oh, oh, shit. Not even top nine. Oh, oh. I shouldn't have looked at him. 
I went from 9th to 248th. Congratulations on the biggest fall off. I've done the same thing on Twitch.tv with subs. All right, let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. Surely I'm top 100. My finger hurts from scrolling. Dude, are you kidding me? 105? Okay, if you hit 53 bananas, you have to be last. How? How do you hit that many bananas? All right, we'll do one. Actually, one more. Actually, LGs. I can walk. I can walk. And the Pokemon can We can walk. All right, let's do this one. This map's a, a short map. I'm down to do this one. We're going to do this one, then wrap. Then wrap uh, this segment. We'll, we'll, we'll do something else after. How do you play? I've been typing exclamation point play. I think exclamation point play works, but what people are doing is they're going to playnitro.com. They're logging in with Twitch, and then there's a Ludwig lobby that's open, and they're joining it from there. And then 250 people of the 1,000 plus that try to enter actually get into the race. I think the devs are watching and holding you back. <gasps> We're in the top five! Okay, this is it. This is our chance. 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 Dolphin Shoals. Dolphin Shoals. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, wait. We dodged the excavator. We have a chance. Come on, Ludwig! Top 70. 69. I'll take it. Come on, baby. Top 100. Top 100. All right. Jesus Christ, Ludwig. Come on, baby. There's Ludwig. There's Ludwig in the flesh. Look at him go. What are these skulls, man? Look at me go. Wait, I I'm actually kind of... Oh. Oh. Wait, that kind of helped me. Wait, that kind of boosted me. Come on, Ludwig. Come on, get up. Get up. Dude. I have to be... Oh, wait, I'm top 40. Wait, I'm top... Oh, I have to be getting targeted. Is it... Uh, that came from in front of me! How does a missile come from in front? Oh, the inside line. I knew you were a gamer. I knew you were a gamer. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Look at the fucking line. Did my car get bigger? Does anyone else notice that my car is like 10 times bigger than everybody's? What are you? Top 100. Please, for the love of God, get top 100. We are... Oh, my God. We're 99. Oh, my God. I'm not going to get top 100 again. How is it possible to be this unlucky? How is it... What is it... What is happening? Dude. All right, come on. Come on. Fierce driving. Fierce driving. Are you fucking kidding me? It's not a skill issue. It's because I am getting specifically targeted as a celebrity streamer. All right. It's about the plane, not the pilot. That's what I always say. Better than Italian Dude 9. I've always said that. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hello, chat. That's me. Let's go! That's me pogging. It's absolute mayhem here. Oh, no. <laughs> what is this song? This song's kind of a banger. There's a drill? Oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone's getting sucked into this pipe. It is so... Wait, wait, wait. What did that... Did you guys see that skeleton? Everyone's getting sucked into this pipe. Is... He hitting the Luddy? It is so cute. That was too fun, chat.
Okay, we'll do one more because people are asking for it. I will do literally one more. But my what I'm doing is kind of five head here. I'm literally doing one lap on the figure eight track because that track is the uh that track is the 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 shortest. And my theory is because I get specifically targeted if I do that track and I start in the front, that nobody will have enough time to target me. As long as I start in the front, I should win. If I'm in, like, the front half, I think I'll get top, like, 100. Okay, well, I'm actually right in the middle of it. I'm right in the thick. I, I would complain, but this is actually not that bad of a position. There we go. There's Ludwig. There's Ludwig. Off to the races. What the fuck just happened to me? What? Are we being serious right now? Wait, where did I go? I can't even see myself. Where did I go? All right, we just have to fall first place because I have no clue where I am. I just have to pray that I'm top 100. All right, it's already over. Diablo Kip with the fastest win of all time. Literally 38 seconds. I just pray that I got top 100. All right, let's see. Let's see. Check the left column. Your name's going to pop up in a second, Ludwig. Come on. Oh, dude. Seriously? Dude, seriously? enough for today. We'll play more tomorrow. Tomorrow I play till I'm in first. <laughs> Not actually, that would take forever, but imagine. Uh, do you guys want to play some Super Auto Pets? Do you want to do a little Super Auto Pets? One more. Let's do some Super Auto Pets. We'll play more tomorrow, chat. I'll literally be live tomorrow. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm not going to lie. If you guys haven't seen the wave that Super Auto Pets, uh, uh, or if you've not been on, excuse me, the Super Auto Pets wave, it's kind of back. Super Auto Pets is back because there's a new patch, and it's gotten a lot of people into it. And I kind of got godlike at it. And when I say godlike, I mean we did that one Ludwig challenge, and I like I could not not win. But there's a patch that just came out that I'm finding out right now. And let's take a look. So they changed the Peter Griffin to be a 2-2. Two -two, and it deals more damage. That seems valuable. Silk Moth seemed OP. They kind of nerfed the Silk Moth from three times per turn to two times. Okay, interesting. The Penguin, uh, they nerfed, kind of. Yeah, buy, give three random friends plus one. So they nerfed the Penguin. The Penguin was good. The Black Necked Stilt, I don't remember. So they made Trumpets better, basically. Trumpets were kind of dog shit. They made Trumpets better. They made the lizard better. I think the lizard's kind of a fun. I think I think I might run lizard now. Uh, they made squid better, which is good. I always thought squid was pretty good. Honestly, the only thing that I care about what they changed is the macaque. Meerkat's now 2-1. It used to be spend 12 gold, give somebody 1-2. Now, at the start of battle, give adjacent friend one attack for every three gold spent. Seems kind of useless. Seems like a, like any short-term scaling like that's generally not a good pet to have. All right, Macaque is now a tier 5. It's a 1-2. And you summon a Rangatang? What? They just got rid of the gorilla? They just straight up said fuck the gorilla.
What do you mean? They, what do you mean? What? what, what it's a 2-2? Two, two? Oh, saved. What's an orangutan? Do I know what an orangutan is? They made oyster tier 6. That makes sense. I feel like Birds of Paradise could be secretly good. Should I know what the orangutan is? Hold on. Let me check the Chivos. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. I've never used the orangutan. Am I saying that right? Orang, 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 orangutan. What, what, what patch is the orangutan in? Is it this one? The orangutan. Give the lowest pet 4 HP. Ugh. It's not a great... That's not a great... That's not a... I mean, that's certainly... Okay, I won't lie. Before, my strategy was get macaque equals win, and that worked every time. I'm, I'm going to have to figure out a new strat. So let's, let's give it a shot here. Okay, this song's a little goofy. Uh, also, let's get our let's get our sound a little higher. Let me roll. So bulldog, I think, is still good. Let's do bulldog, groundhog, start a battle, remove one. Let's do let's do an egg on you. Call myself the foamy rockets. It's not a euphemism. The rockets just happen to foam. Okay, this should be a draw. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, interesting. I think the cone snail is still a very good pet. I'll get a second bulldog just in case this happens. Exactly. I don't like trumpets either, but I understand why they're good. Wait, what the fuck? Why did my tr wait, 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 wait? Why did wait, wait, wait? Why didn't my egg ability activate? I'm still gonna win, but what the hell, man? All right, let's combine you. Let's combine you. So I believe that the black-necked stilt is just a better version of the groundhog. Faint get two trumpets versus faint get one trumpet. So let's swap out here. Let's also give you a cherry. That way it gets double the trumpets. Roll me. I'll go double black-neck stilt for now and then do one more roll. Sell, give friends one attack front to back for each battle this is fault. I, so I don't know what the phrase front to back means, so I'm still scared. Gain one attack and one health until end of battle for each gold over 10. Oh, that it makes so much more sense than every other way I used to understand that. Okay, we're just going to move on. I don't know what front to back means, and I'll never understand that phrase. Jesus Christ. Wait, what do the ducks do? Start a battle, remove one attack from the first enemy. This doesn't seem good. Your team seems bad. Am I crazy? I think my dog just runs you. All right, roll me. Sell, summon one level one pet from your current tier as a 1-1. One, one. This seems like a long-term gambit, and I love gambits, so I'm going to buy you. I will certainly combine you, buy you, sell you. And then I think I'll go with the Peter Griffin pet. Uh, and I think the order should probably be like this. I think this is good. Okay, yeah, that's great. That's great. Uh-oh. I think this is fine because we win. Because he's gonna... Yeah, perfect. Are you... 
Okay, we were close to winning. I thought we had it. All right, let's let's sell you. Let's also sell the stoat. And we get a meerkat. Okay. Okay, that's okay. This actually is a good turn to get the meerkat because it's going to give a lot of attack. Always buy and sell that pet. Explain trumpets. There's not much to explain. Basically, the the point of trumpets is that the more you accrue, the more you can spend. They're like an in-battle currency. And at the very least, like for example, this guy can spend a trumpet to deal three damage to one enemy. Fine, everybody understands how that would work. But if you don't use it, then a dog, a golden retriever, is summoned by the call of the trumpets. And it's equivalent to the amount of trumpets you've accrued. End turn, give one friend from the current shop tier 1-2. That doesn't seem very good. Faint, give friend behind 4-2. That seems pretty good, but I don't think I need attack right now. I don't want a bulldog. I do want a lizard. I think I do want a lizard. Wow. So, I think I'm going to buy you this turn. I'm actually going to sell the bulldog. I'm going to buy the slug. I'm going to freeze the lizards. And I have to change the order slightly here. Because the trumpets get used... At the very... Yeah, so let's do this. I think this is right. So the meerkat should give both of these guys four attack. Right? Five attack. Wow, I spent 15. Alright, already six trumpets. Which then he'll spend one of them to kill that guy. And the slug is a goaded pet. Okay, understood. That was a good turn. Dude, we are getting lucky. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is the flying fish nerfed? If in battle and a friend is summoned, give it two experience. That's Dude, that's fucking amazing. We kind of have to sell you now. We're going to buy you. You. Oh, no. We have to sell you. Buy you. Buy you. And I think the order should be like this. This is actually a goaded team. Because the way the frog works is that he'll deal three damage if somebody ahead of him dies. And the way the slug works is he dies, summons a slug. That slug dies, he summons a smaller slug. So it's guaranteed three. I mean, that's pretty goaded. Plus, we have a lizard. As We need to start healing the lizard somehow. Oh, wow. That was unlucky. Wait, that was unlucky. Hold up. I think we'll still win, but they totally swap my order, so the flying fish won't help the summons for the lizard. I do still get to hit help the slug summons, so I think we win still. Yeah. They did nerf the flying fish. It only does it twice now. Oh, interesting. Wait, that's actually a lot weaker than before. That's actually a lot weaker than before. Huh. I wonder... Hear me out. What if we did something like this? I guess we should sell the black-necked stilt. And then, if we use the secretary bird... Right here, it would buff the lizard in insane ways. Right? Am I right? I, this feels right to me. I should have bought the, the penguin, but that's okay. Yeah, let's go double secretary bird. 
I like how it made, yeah, bird secretary noises. Because the way the secretary bird works, wait, it's only behind? Give the nearest friend a head. No, yeah, this is perfect. So it's going to give the lizard a lot of HP because we're going to have guaranteed four deaths. And then the lizard will have 13 HP, which will then allow it to summon more lizards. I can't believe they're still running Silk Moth Bulldog. It just seems like it's so bad now. So yeah, now we have a 13 lizard. And then the lizard, every time it gets hit, will summon. Okay, that's kind of throated. Uh, buffing you is amazing. Buffing you is okay, but I'm going to roll one because I'd rather have a level two. Yeah, perfect. Six, six now. This is actually so big. That's actually huge for me. We're kind of chewing through all the, the mods. Hello! Hi! Oh my gosh. The world famous LLCS reporter in that building. What? World you said LLCS? LCS. Well, I got the name wrong. LCS. How, how are you doing? Did. You did great. Thanks. You did great. Did you see the flowers I got you? Yeah, you got flowers. Thanks so much. I got you flowers. They're kind of goofy, but I thought they were cute. They're goofy. Yeah, I like the, the, the car. Yeah, that was. Were you were you pumped? Were you nervous? I was so nervous, and it, it sucks because a lot of the comments were like, "Man, she was so nervous." I'm like, yeah, I was. I've never done anything like that before. Uh, a lot of the comments were also like, "She was goaded." So. Yeah. Well, you know, we got a little crazy. We got a little like. Um, what do you mean? We, you know, we just did it. A little, I was a little different. I was a little silly. Yeah, I thought you were good. I thought you had like some funny jokes, some planned some bits. Uh, I don't want it to be serious. I feel like LCS has done serious for a decade, and it's cool to be a foil to that. So I thought you did great. Yeah, well, that's what I was trying to do. But I think you did it correctly. I think you did it well. Yeah. Chat loved it. It was cool. Twitter loved it. I loved it. Uh, it was cool. It, it seems like the people with you liked it. I did something so cringe. You did something cringe? Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, every time I go to League of Legends event. Uh, what? It was afterwards. Uh, I go over to Double Lift, and he's doing pictures. He's like, "Got you a spot right here, like next to him, you know, because I love Double Lift." Uh huh. And so I, I don't know why, I lose words, and I just come fangirl. And I'm like, "Shut up!" And I hit it. Ow! <laughs> what the heck? Why did I hit him? I don't know. Why did I do that? And she, the cringe that you can't hear her. The cringe thing she did is that Double Lift was taking pictures, and he was like, "Got a spot for you right here next to me. Take a pic." And then she was like, and then she ran up and hit him. Did he him. say ow? Yeah, I, I kept going. Ow, what the heck? No, I don't know what's wrong with me. Why do you do that? Don't do I that. I resorted to like being a, a fifth grader. I don't know. Oh, I'm so cringe. You're ah. cringe. I know. That's uh, tough. My whole drive home, I was thinking about it. I called Maya. She didn't answer, so I couldn't get it out of my brain. Ugh. I called you. You didn't answer, and you're live, so I couldn't get it out of my brain. Oof. I called Brooke. She didn't answer, so I couldn't get it out of my brain. Damn. So it's been either way. Whole drive home. I'm all I'm thinking about how cringe I was. Well, oh. if it makes you feel better, uh -huh. Nick Yingling's more cringe. Well, yeah. Because he blocked Double Lift and Double Lift called him out, and he didn't know why, which is super cringe. That's so rude. Yeah. Double Lift is actually one of the nicest people I've ever met, and so I feel bad <laughs> that I'm so cringe. <sighs> He's nice. I'd throw him He's top nice. fifteen. Hopefully he'll forget. Oh. He'll forget about it. I don't think he cares about it. You don't think? Yeah. Well, then I turn. Double lift is also cringe, like, to be clear. No, he's not. Everyone, no offense, like, I understand you love this, like, game. <laughs> Every fucking person in that building's cringe. I'm just going to say it, bro. They're fucking League of Legends players by, like, trade. Like, that. they're cringe. What do you want they're from me? Cringe. I'm not denying that. <laughs> I am cringe, but I'm cringe because I'm a theater kid. They're cringe because they are addicted and love League that much. All I could think about my drive home, I was like, why did I hit him? Why did I turn into that? I think this is a mild thing. I think this is not like a thing you should think about. I'm going to think about it for years. 
I mean, like that's fair, but like I don't. It's not that bad. And then I stepped back and I introduced myself to Chastity. Okay. You know what's more cringe? Like you know what you should cringe about more is when you went up to Bjergsen in the after party and you said, Stop! after he just lost Stop! LCS finals. Hey, so are you guys gonna like? Are you guys playing? Like, are you guys gonna play anymore? After they got literally eliminated from contention of playing. Stop! And he was like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to play much. We're out. Like, that was tough. That was cringe. The double lift thing sounds fine compared to that for sure. Because that was tough to beat. Uh, tough to beat. But today, you did great. You were a hero. Anyway, I stepped Ow. back after physically harming and assaulting double lift. And I introduced myself to Tenacity. I forgot to introduce myself to anybody else. Um, that's okay. I'm a jerk. I'm no, amazing. it's oh, fine. It's then, fine. And then Blue was there, the little liquid horse in the costume. Very okay. Cute. Blue is very cute. Oh, the horse, the mascot. Yeah, and I walked over and I kicked Blue over. What? I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. My, you're, a, you're a monster. Um, it was, yeah, it was nerves. I'm doing good. I'm fine. That's I mean, good. I do the same thing to Hassan. You know? You hit him? Yeah. Yeah. But why do I do that when I get overwhelmed? I just... It, maybe Stop! it's... Maybe it's like... like, I'm like a fist writer. Maybe it's cute aggression. Is it cute? I just think double is so cute. I yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> it's like what happens when you see coots. Yeah, maybe. But Hassan is because yeah. he deserves it. Hassan. It's, oh. This is... It's like... Maybe it's adrenaline. It's fight or flight. Yeah, and you're I, fighting. I think I'm just so shy that I and I'm so excited at the same time. I'm like, oh my god! You just you're your like ball of energy. With um, with them, I just am not normal. I think you're fine. I think I'm you're fine. leading into it. It's fine. He's never gonna think about it. He's not gonna think about it. Chad Ch will think about it now, but he won't think about it. It's fine. And I like the fit. I think the jacket was cool. You do. Yeah. We had a hard time with my fit this morning. It's a long story. I feel good about Everyone, it. This is like kind of like my comfort jacket. I've been wearing it on a lot lately. And so I just was like, I'll wear this. Plus, I found myself on this weird website yesterday. I told my chat about it. I can tell you chat about don't it. Don't tell my chat about it. Okay. I don't want them to know about it. Well, I found myself on a weird website yesterday, so now I only wear baggy clothes. Yeah, you can leave that website out. Um, it's a weird website chat. So... Anyway. Tell All her right. we say cool jacket. She can read it. I can. I can. She just won't it's, notice the nice things. If you say something mean, she'll read it out, though. But don't say something mean. A real lead fan. I am a real lead fan. See, see what I mean? She just did it. All right. You hungry? Yeah. I have rotisserie chicken, which is... Whoa. Okay. Or we can order food. Or we can order some ramen. Do you want to play Kingdom Hearts tonight? You know what I did? Ooh. Oh, that's a no. Maybe tomorrow. What'd you do? No, tomorrow is when my birthday party. I Ooh. don't want to work. I, I just work. Yeah, that's fair. You were streaming all day. Um, I oh made ramen last night and uh -huh. put like some chicken in it. And okay. Some spinach and stuff like that. We could just do that again. If you that want. sounds great. Sure. I'm down. I can I can make. No, I'm just wondering if I should make it now or I should wait until you're done. Uh oh, I I mean if you want to make it for yourself now if you're hungry, run I'm it. I'm not. I can wait until you. But I'm not. I'm I'm gonna go for a little bit longer okay. and then I can do it after. I can, oh, okay. I can join you. Later. I'm not hungry right now. All right, All right well, I'll see you later. Okay. Well, congrats again. You're welcome. I think you did great. I don't think you need to say that I wish, wish I did better because I think you did great. Okay. She going to Japan? No, she's fucking Flaketriok. I'm answering questions. I'm a streamer. Do you remember the guy you met at Panama? They are asking very politely and we want an answer. What? What do you mean the guy? I met multiple guys. Are you asking if I'm, if, which guy? The barber? I remember the barber. Because I guess that was the only one in Panama. Unless you're talking about the guy who ran 
this spot at Isla Secas. In which case, I also remember that guy. You know the guy. Why are you saying it like that? At Isla Secas in the waiting room? In the waiting room? Do you mean Goblin? I met Goblin. That wasn't at Isla Secas, though. Goblin D's nuts. Are you fucking kidding me? What? How did what? What did you set that? What are you setting that up? Why did you ask me? Why are you guys like in cahoots with that? What the fuck was that? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? I'm thrown off. I you guys are you guys are you guys are in my head right now. You guys are in my freaking head right now. I can't. I gotta play my game. That was crazy. That was psychopathic. That was crazy. Dude. This is actually OP. I found a new god tier combo. Oh, this is actually OP. Uh, I'm curious if it's worth long-term swapping out the flying fish. Does the flying fish always max out at 2 chat, or does it scale up? Does it max at 2? Because if it maxes at 2, I might ditch. Dude, this is actually such an OP fucking team. This is so good. Hold up. I want to get more secretary birds for sure. Friend ahead hurt. Give it melon in plus five attack. Wow, that seems good. But I don't think that's necessary. Huh. Maybe the the sea lion could be kind of interesting. I kind of want to ditch the flying fish, but I don't know if that's a mistake. Let's you know what? Let's get an avocado because next turn. Let's just get it. You know what? I'm actually going to ditch the flying fish. I kind of want to move on from that meta. Let me roll for a secretary bird. Lovely. Insta got it. And also a slug. Okay, this is great. This is great. Next turn, we're going to have a great, great team. The flying fish is pretty useless. Like, it really just gives my slugs, like, a little more attack. Not even that much. I guess two more. Oh, we're going up against a trumpet squad. I think that's not that scary. Unless... Oh, you know what? This, this is kind of scary. Yeah, this is kind of scary. Yeah, fuck me. I lose. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's do you. Start of turn, spend one gold to activate buy ability on the nearest friend. So, okay, that means like a penguin has a buy ability. So this is basically like reactivating the penguin. So it's basically like scaling. That's kind of interesting, but I don't know if I really care. I would love you. I would also love a pita bread on you. I think those are both kind of huge for me. Maybe I go flying fish. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little... No, I, I want to I move on from the flying fish. I think, I think if I get another frog, I'm kind of juicy. My team's basically like two different units here. It's these guys. And then these two. It's these two and these two. I guess this guy works symbiote. Yeah, this is going to be huge. This guy has an old-fashioned summon team. It's just not viable. Do I just get to do it infinite times? Dude, oh, this is actually so broken. Maybe I go flying fish. No, I, no, we're not doing it, Ludwig. Wait, wait, wait. Friend faints. If it was a faint pet... Activate its ability again. Uh, that would let me do the slug again, which is kind of good, but also I don't 
the like my current layout wouldn't make that work. So unfortunately, is not super viable. I kind of want to run tomato on you. All right, let me roll one. All right, let me sell. Buy the clam. Sell the clam. Roll me one. This is kind of a YOLO. Uh, this is all kind of shit, to be honest. I don't want to get another flying fish. I guess I should just get a flying fish again. The goat is good. Friend faints, gain a trumpet. All right. It's actually not bad. Because we, we, cause we guaranteed have like one, two, three, four, maybe five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is like, but it's only a 10 10. It's not that good. Oh, interesting squad here. Wow, this is actually a very scary squad. Okay, I get the pita bread, so that's kind of huge. If the antelope was a higher level, this would be better. Damn, this uh, this snake is decent. But I, I think we still crush this squad, to be honest. Yeah, I, I think a level 2 or 3 antelope could be interesting. Yeah, holy shit, my team is fucking great. The Secretary Bird Lizard team. Kind of good. Kind of good. Wait, friend ahead attacks deal 20% to one random enemy. That's just better than a frog, right? It's it's a it's a better frog cuz the frog does 3 and 20% is well I guess it's a little less damage. But it's on attack as opposed to on death. So I think it's better. I think we should get the bear. I think the bear is probably the best pet because five friendly attacks deal six damage. And we get at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, like there's a chance we get ten attacks in there. Uh, the octopus is good, but doesn't. I should have bought it first, so we're fine. Uh, I should also get the pita for this guy, maybe. We're probably just going to win this turn. Bear, Pepe W. Bear is a bit cringe. Oh, the orangutan. So let's see how good this orangutan is. It seems so bad. Yeah, the orangutan is so mid. Dude, we crushed this squad. <laughs> it's not even close. Damn, two new achievements. I think this is a new meta. I think macaque meta is out. I think secretary bird into lizard is a godlike setup. I'm going to try to do a back to back just to see if it is as great as it seems. Skilled, uh let's go with flabbergasted machines. You have to get there early. I guess that's what I'm curious about. Do I have to get there early, or is it just kind of goaded? Uh, let's do all three of these, just because it's pretty good scaling. I don't mind going Cone Snail here. I'm going to freeze roll. Uh, let's go Bulldog instead. Uh, we don't need a level three Bulldog, so two is fine here. Uh, and this isn't really good for me, but it's going to give me two level three pets next turn, so this is fine. I think we just win this, right? Oh, I guess he gets trumpets and he gets to shoot us. Actually, never mind. Yeah, he might win here. Uh, okay, it's a draw. I'll take a draw. Uh, okay, so we want to first combine you. Buy you. Combine you. Buy you. 
So we already got the pet we want. Uh, I kind of like the guinea fowl. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I can zoom in the cam. I might try to get all achievements on this pack. I don't know. It depends if I like it. I kind of like the stoat and the apple here. Let's get the stoat. I think the stoat is like a fun gamble pet, and I like the idea of that. Oh, wait! I'm being stupid! Hold up! If I have the goose, then putting the lizard in the front is the best option. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Yeah, I really don't care to have a bulldog. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Oh, no! Lizard can't spawn in the front. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm cringing. Oh, I'm cringing. All right, we still draw. We should have won that. Ugh, stupid. Stupid, stupid. Let's sell the bulldog. The bulldog has to be sold. I don't think I want another goose. I don't think I want another goose. Let's definitely get you. Let's get you. I'm kind of interested in a sea lion for general scaling. So let's do the order maybe like this. I guess I could sell my stoat, and it summons a level two from the current tier. I could also wait. Hold up. The question is, is the secretary bird this tier or next tier? It's next tier. Should I YOLO getting it next tier? I'm going to hold for a moment. Sea line gives everybody ahead of it one HP and everyone behind uh, gets rid of it. Fuck me. What the hell? Uh, we win. W. It's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, so it basically has to be combined. Take 5 damage and give the nearest friend 2-1. Uh, I think it's okay to sell the flying fish. Get the manatee. Roll me. Roll me. Do I want another stoat? Next turn, I unlock... No, I don't think I want a stoat. Really, all I want are... Uh, are more lizards. Okay, this is good. This is actually really good. Because th this guy is solo getting pretty juicy, pretty bulky. Fuck, that's terrifying. Wait, this is actually so good. That worked out so well. That was excellent. That was excellent. All right, so we're going to sell the stoat. And we get a Vaquita, level 2. Which, if it faints, gain 100% trumpets. Ugh, that is such a bad pet. <laughs> that is a bad pet. I'm not going to lie. That hurts a lot. Because I don't really have a trumpet build. Uh, okay, I can sell you. I could feasibly go guinea. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me see. Who, who gets trumpets in this tier? Okay, I, what I need is an antelope. An antelope would actually be kind of decent. So let's try to get ourselves an antelope. I might go another manatee here. I'll definitely get you. I'll get you and sell you. Um, faint get one trumpet. I mean, I think I just kind of have to tank this. Uh, I'll get the squid for now. I think this is still fine because, like, our lizard is scaling really well. But an antelope would save this run. 
Uh, he has a bit of a scaling team, so he should win. He has a blue ringed octopus in the squad, so he's not really like doing that well. Yeah, this is a dub. Easy dub. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, slug is interesting. Beta fish is also kind of interesting, but we got to focus. Trumpets is kind of good in our squad here. So we need trumpets. Fuck me, dude. Never lucky. Okay, we want two of you, I guess. This is bad. I mean, should I try Secretary Bird? Let's go double C line. I, I kind of believe in this build. No, I fucked up again. Oh, what a <laughs> son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, so stupid of me. I, I would actually just have crushed this team. Oh, I would have crushed this team. What a stupid fucking move. Alright, it's good for drama. Take five damage. Wait, the level two manatee doesn't do anything different? Wait, then why the fuck would they not tell me that? Am I crazy? Why wouldn't they tell me that? The numbers aren't buffed. It's the same, right? It was giving 4-2 before, chat. It was giving 4 It was not giving 2-1, right? Was it? It was 2-1? I'm kind of interested. In this guy. Like, sell the sea lion... I mean, I, look, sell the Vaquita. The Vaquita does not fit the squad. If I go this guy right now, like, I wonder how good this is. Because it's going to... This is actually kind of interesting. It's going to give me basically two summons per. Oh no, that's not a faint ability. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. We still win. Holy fuck, I'm dumb. Holy fuck, I'm dumb. Alright, sell you. For sure. Faint. Give. Um, Let's buy. Let's buy. Shit, what do I do here? Oh, now I get the fucking antelope, huh? I mean, maybe I go this guy. Uh. Yeah, it gives 2-1. Yeah, you guys were right. Let's maybe do this for now. This is kind of interesting. This squad is this squad is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see. So how much does everybody? Everybody gets one one. Okay. Oh, this squad is bad. Let's get ourselves. Hmm. Let's get ourselves a level 2 Warthog. I think this is good. We need to uh, combine these guys, otherwise they're going to die next turn. 
This is kind of good, though. Oh, wow. He got a lot. Yeah. Ew. 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 That was gross. Okay. Same here. Let's combine you guys. Let's buy the Warthog. Gain one gold before attacking one gold in the next turn. Before before attack, gain one gold on next turn works three times. But so if it ta attacks multiple times, yeah, it's kind of interesting. This is basically just a free gold for next turn. What the hell was that noise? <laughs> that was crazy. That was cringe. <laughs> what was that? Uh, okay. Oh, scary orangutan. Actually, incredibly scary. Yeah, the pita bread is really good, though. No, pita's massive, though. We don't even get the silver fox. I'm such an idiot. Faint, gain eight. Friend ahead, hurt, give it melon perk in five attack. Wait, that seems really good right here. Right? Let's sell you. Let's go bear, bear, bear. Oh, this is really good. I think this is a great squad. Fuck me, dude. My fucking bear. Okay, so now, yeah, this is actually good. The Warthog is really good with the, the crane. The Warthog might be better than the Lizard on my squad. He solos! I think we can sell the Sea Lion... We can run a German Shepherd. We can get a chocolate on you. And then we can get a potato on you. That way he doesn't die to a tomato. This team is fucking godlike. This is a godlike. This is actually a better team than last round. He has double bear squad. Wait, this is actually interesting. Yeah, this is GG, bro. You, you, bro, you didn't even get my, you, you didn't even get my full team. Wow. Wow. That team is fucking great. I think I'm good at this uh, patch. Maybe I run back this patch with some Ludwig Auto VODs. Yo, what's up, Akron? The new pack is fun, yeah. Well, the my issue with the star pack is I actually felt fucking blind. I didn't have, like, a really good strategy at winning, and it felt like the only thing I could do was pray to get a vulture because the vulture is just such a good pet. I think they might have changed it a bit, but... That's how it felt when I used to play. It was like, get the anteater, get the vulture, win. You know? Maybe you can buff the salamander. Not really. Kind of. Maybe if you want. Maybe you can buff the pug. Not really. If you kind of, you know. But the golden pack, I feel like I have a viable winning strategy with lizard. I have a viable winning strategy with um, the warthog. Secretary, the slug, slug, frog. I feel decent at pivoting here. They got to up the tier on the lizard. 
I think the lizard's decent. Yeah, let's go for a, a three p and then wrap up some super auto pets for today. Uh, I don't want any geese. I'll take two of yous and I'll take one of yous. Uh, I don't really want to go silk moth anymore. Let's go bald boogeyman. It's alliterative. You haven't touched the goaded econ build. I should do the econ build again because I did that. I did that in the uh, in my challenge chat. Remember that? I did the uh, like the 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 double manatee build is kind of nasty. Let me see if I can build a double manatee. Um, I'll just run an egg. This is a cringe team. Double mana ray is nasty, bro. I swear. But it might be cringe. Uh, oh shit, this team kind of rolls me. I love getting a heart back though. Replace shop food with one free copy of this pet's food perk. I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, 100%, give me an Osprey. Sell one, oh fuck me, I should have done that for the Osprey. Silly me. I'm a stoat fan. I like the stoat. I'm going to run this stoat. And I'm actually going to run another opossum. And the haters can't stop me. I'm a believer in the stoat. Good egg. Good egg. I don't think the stoat is goat because the the fucking stoat last time screwed me, but we'll, you know. Take what we can get here. Uh, ooh, shit. Let's do this. And then roll for a stoat, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to go lizard because we know the lizard works. I can do a lizard build. I can likely win with a lizard build. Let's try to experiment. Let's get freaky, you know? Uh, oh, they're going with the lizard build. And this might work, to be honest. Never mind. Okay, mind. It worked. Fuck me. Son of a bitch, he's done it again. Alright, so we combine here. We get a Vaquita. We sell you. We get a Flying Fisha. We combine you, we get a double Vaquita. Hold up. We got to freeze both of these guys. We got to roll. Stop giving me weasels. This is so cringe. I want to... Ah. Okay, let's sell you. Let's buy the Vaquitas. I think we can sell... The flying fish. This was a total miss. Well, I guess I want to sell the osprey more specifically. But there's no point in selling the osprey if I'm not... Yeah, I might as well sell you. I guess we'll put you in the back. So that was another stoat whiff, but it happens. Uh, okay, I think we need a we need a buff the guinea fowl like a like a like a big guinea fowl should be big. The osprey gets yeah the oh shit you're right the osprey does it only gets one trumpet though but I guess you no know, yeah you're right I should have that was a fuck up. Okay, that did not work. That did not work. I don't like the Osprey as a character who is meant to get me stuff. Like, I just don't believe in it, I think. Um, man, I just need this guinea fowl to, like, get me trumpets yesterday. All right, we're going to go for a, a full pivot team because level four is where shit gets juicy. So this is kind of like a YOLO. But we're going to get 16 gold next turn. 
Oh, that's so unlucky. Wow, I don't even get the bonus for being hurt from that. Oh, I guess it wasn't hurt, technically. Oh, wait, we crushed this squad. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Okay. Ooh, okay, wait. For sure this... Do I want to do this? I, I think the wolf is just a generally good character, so I'll buy you. I definitely want to buy you. I'm going to freeze this avocado and banana. Oh, fuck. Um, man, it's just another summon squad. I don't want to go summon squad, though. But the slug is hard to pass up. I can't put the Vakita in the back. You are correct. Uh, let's just do this. I don't want to get the... I know I could get the slug and I could do a summon squad. I'm trying to get creative here. I'm trying to force myself to get creative here. What the fuck is this team? This team sucks. What? Oh, never mind. Oh my, oh my god, he's nasty. Oh my god, he's nasty! Oh no! Oh no! All right, never mind. You suck. <laughs> I was popping off for you, but it was kind of cap. A orangutan doesn't matter. Like, what's the point of summoning an orangutan? The whole benefit of an orangutan is that it buffs people. I don't understand. I don't understand. We need to get rid of this cone snail. Like, I don't know why we have a cone snail. This is embarrassing. Oh. Two friends faint. Okay, so we kind of have to do a play like this. Shit. How do I even do this? Secretary bird, guinea fowl, slug in the front. Kind of interesting. It's not enough, though. And I can't do wolves in the very front. Ugh, wolves is bad in this squad. I have to swap out wolves. Uh, this guy has a, a bad squad, I think. So we should win. Kind of a bad squad. All right. Let's think. Let's think. Let's think. Let's think. Let's think. Let's buy you. Oh, wow. I mean, straight up, selling you and buying the Niala is huge for the squad. But no, fuck. This order doesn't work anymore. Unless I do this? No, shit. The secretary bird doesn't match. Fuck. Man, I should have kept the the I should have kept the wolves. I think I have to sell the secretary bird. And I have to I, there's no point in doing slug in the back. I I'll free sea lion and I think I'll run sea lion. Because I, I like the sea lion as like a passive sc uh, scaler. Um, man, the slug doesn't work anymore, though. I, I, I pivoted weirdly. I, I fucked this up, I think. Oh, very similar squad to me. But I'm a little bit better. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Uh, let's... Oh, shit. Let's buy you. The slugs just aren't good on the squad anymore. Hmm. 
This team had potential. I think I kind of threw it a bit. I think I should have kept the Wolves. The Wolves were a really good anchor. Oh, this is tough. We should have kept the Secretary Bird, too, I think. Uh, we're not fucked yet. Yeah, for, I mean, we're still doing fine. Hundred percent. That's huge. A hundred percent. That's huge. I mean, I think a bear. Wait, before attack, spend four trumpets to gain coconut. Is that good? Should I do that? Should I get the bear? The bear seems really good here. I should PETA you. Wait, wait, wait. Friend faints. If it was a faint pet, activate its ability again. I don't think there's a point in doing that. Like, this would be good. The only issue with it is that the trumpets cap out at 50-50. You don't get a 100-100 pet. Even if it triggers the even if it triggers the Nyala and triggers the Vakita, like we already have a 38-38 now. Like what are we what are we hoping for? It would be good if I got rid of the Nyala maybe or if I got rid of the Guinea Fowl. Like if I got rid of the Guinea Fowl straight up, we would have 16-32-32. So maybe the answer is pivot off of guinea fowl. But I don't think that's the answer. Do it instead of slug. I want it... I mean, it just, it's just going to be a 50-50. I mean, like... I don't know. It just seems like it's not scaled enough. It's, I'm basically putting in... One for the Nyala. Two for the guinea fowl. Three for the Vaquita. And four for the Pteranodon. For one 50-50. So I'm basically the whole, in, almost the whole squad, four people in the squad, have one job, getting 50-50. It's better than the slug? Yeah, but the bear is also better than the slug, so I'll probably just go bear. Right? By that logic? No, nah, I don't think I'm doing it. I don't think I'm doing it. I mean, we'll, we'll see. I might be wrong. I might be proved wrong right here. This is my opportunity to get proved wrong. Um, son of a bitch. I'm fucked. Wait. Oh, the order got fucked up. Unlucky. Because the guy in the back broke. That would have been a 50-50. Wow, I, I was almost proven right. And then I was proven so horrendously wrong. What a sad day. Uh, let's get you. Let's get you. And let's get you. I don't think I'm throwing. I don't think I'm throwing. I think I think I have sound logic. This team's bad. This team this team this team I roll. Cause I'm gonna fight his little oh no, never mind. He's actually kinda nasty. So we're gonna have a 40-40. Yeah, we should. That's good, that's good, that's good. Bear gets no triggers. Wait, bear gets all the triggers from the... I, I, I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong, and I think it's fine. Let me let me tighten up. Let me tighten up here. Yes. 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 Uh, that's a great turn. That's a great turn where I'm from. All right, so we're going to fight these little under... This is actually a good team to fight. The Pete is doing wonders, too. Yeah, this is... This, see, this this is actually a perfect example of a team that... Like, I'm easily getting 50-50. And the value of this bear is nuts. Oh, 
We don't even need the dude. Uh, the bear's just goaded. This guy's kind of interesting, but not interesting enough to run it. I think I want a potato in the back if I can get one. Another tomato on you is pretty good. I do want a potato in the back. Really no point in leveling up the Vaquita. I'm only going to do it for the Chivo. Yeah, I'll do it for the Chivo. Winning with a level 3 Vaquita would be nice. And it's going to guarantee a 50-50, I suppose. Uh, ooh. Oh. What the fuck? Okay. Look at this weasel. Look at this weasley little liar, dude. All right. Interesting squad. Okay, we got a level three. Um, I'll just give him PETA. Because if he gets hit by a trumpet, he still lives. All right, I think this is a winning squad. I think Sea Lion's good. It should be probably nerfed. Should probably be a tier five, maybe. I don't know. Oh, never mind. Hold up. I'm fucked. Hold up. My nightmare scenario. Literal insta death. I'm fucked. Oh, shoo. Stressful. Stressful. Man, it's probably. Better to have a banana for the extra attack, maybe? I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Let's do this. Let's do a banana. I don't know. This is maybe a mistake. Uh, what happened? Oh, poison's no good. Oh, that's a lot of poison. Not worried about it though. We get a 50 50. GG! Alright, good squad, good squad. That's my first ever trumpet win. I don't think I've ever gone for a trumpet squad before. Three for three, dude. I'm I I I actually think I just know this pack. I think I got this pack down. Am I playing bots? I shouldn't be that good at this pack. This is my, you know what? I think these sons of bitches are making me play easy bots to suck me back into the game. And by God, I think they've done it. Try the weekly. Everybody plays weekly. Uh, I know people are hype on weeklies. I don't personally care about the weeklies because I just care about Chivos. So I, I don't care for a weekly that contains people I already have the achievement on. I'm probably going to go. Oh, shit. I kind of want to go for. I wish it would show me just the Chivos for this pack. Is that possible? Oh, there it is. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. All right, we're not doing bad. We actually have a decent amount of them. Man, I forgot how hard it is to get some of the Chivos. Like, trying to win with a level 3 Clam is going to be so annoying. Trying to live with, win with a level 3 Bulldog, even. I do love looking at this one. All of them. Yeah, on the, this is how much I hated the star pack. I have one achievement. And it's not even the... the it's, it's literally one. Uh, puppy pack, I did love. Weekly pack. Oh, they got a hedgehog in there? Shit. They got a hedgehog. Star pack sucks, man. I, I'm a star pack hater. Uh, all right, chat. What time is it? What time is it? Uh, oh, it's 10.30. I'll probably end. I thought about playing one game of Valo, but I think I'll end and hang out with QD and then just go live a bit earlier tomorrow. Fuck, tomorrow's actually so fucked. Shit. We'll see about tomorrow. Same with the Frick. Frickin' brick. We'll see. I forgot. QD had some 
party she wanted to go to and then I forgot about that and so I scheduled a bunch a bunch of meetings basically all day that go up until ooh this is so cringe for me all right we'll see 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 uh either way I'm going to wrap up stream Nah, no valo, no valo, no valo, no valo. There's no, there's no one even playing. You know what I mean? I don't want to just boot up a solo queue valo. Uh, and I'll figure out what we're doing tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to bed. And I'll probably upload a YouTube video if it's available a bit later. We'll see. I have to double check. Um. But thanks for watching today. The chess against, uh, the chess against chat was really fun. So I'm happy we got to do that. I did not think I'd be able to bait you guys so hard. It's almost like I backseated you guys. Anyway, boys, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Uh, when are you fixing your PC for Hollow Knight? I'll do you one better. I'll just play Hollow Knight in Japan where I have a new PC. That's how I solve that issue. Five head. All right, good night, boys. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all later. Peace. I'm not never doing Hollow Knight. I will do Hollow Knight. I like Hollow Knight. I like it, I swear. See you later, guys.